Let's go. Hi, everyone. Hope I didn't blow out the, your earphones by going with a really loud intro there. But we're here. We're ready for Disco Elysium. It's been a long time coming. I'm really excited to get into this. George, what is up, my guy? I'm doing great. How are you? How is everyone here? How are your Christmases, your New Year's? I haven't been on the YouTube space at all in 2023. So, the mighty Spork ready for peak gaming. Yes, mate. The uh, it won Disco Elysium won in a landslide in the polls. I think it was like 55 to 60 percent in the end. Um, but yeah, how how was your guys breaks? Christmas breaks, New Year's breaks. Um, hope they were all fantastic. I played some God of War, um, as that didn't do well in the poll. Uh, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to, like, I've got a week off in between Christmas and New Year. I've got a week off, so I'm just going to smash God of War. I did exactly that. It was fantastic. I forget what the option, other options were, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a landslide win. I think Hades did okay, but uh, it was only going to be one, and uh, that's quite all right with me. First or second God of War, 2018, because uh, I don't have a PS5, so I was playing on PC. Um... Seriously good. Um, quite different to the games I've played on this on this channel, but because um, you know it is more of just the 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 AAA cinematic experience. But I really loved it. Guacamole game of Fortnite thousand is real. I swear. I'm Yi. Thanks for joining the stream, mate. George Obradin was great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I had a great time with that game. And now on to the next one. Um, I'll wait just a couple more minutes. Um, to let some other people get here, but we will be jumping in very, very soon. Mighty Sport, Christmas is more of a cozy, small family gathering for me too. Yeah, that's good, man. That's what that's what it's all about, right? I mean, I have a relatively large Christmas on, on Christmas Day itself. We do like 12 of us, so um, it's a lot of prep in the early days, uh, you know, like Christmas Eve, but it was good, man. And then that week in between Christmas and New Year, do as little as possible. Perfect time to recharge the batteries. Um, what have you did? Any, did any you guys dive into a particular game over Christmas break? Anything take your fancy? Someone cheated on the annual Christmas quiz. That's not in the spirit of Christmas at all. Oh, also, that is Celeste in the background. I was just about to say, if anyone has. Give me your favorite video game soundtracks because uh, I'm making like a little list for the stream for the stream background noise background music um, because as far as I can tell until I am proven otherwise if you put video game soundtracks in the background they YouTube won't copyright strike you so we've got some we've got some Ape Escape we've got Celeste but Halo 3 that one might get me I'm gonna have to tweak it as I go if uh, if any any uh, copyright strikes come in the way. That's just the risk you play with YouTube, you know? Outer Worlds, of course, Serge. Yeah, mate. I do have Outer Worlds on here. Hollow Knight has amazing instrumentals. A little bit of Subnautica on here. But we can't sit around listening to music all day, can we? We should, uh, we should probably get to the main event. So we'll gently fade that out before the... Uh, oh, too late. I lost the screen. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, fire away. I'll add to them. I'll predict cracker in attack. Just just mega horns in the background. Very relaxing. Portal 2 starting uh, hopefully next week, Sergius, mate. Uh, I know Cam's been like deep in the Subnautica, Subnautica streams and they've been doing really well. So uh, yeah, I, di I, I didn't want to like impose on that you know because the guy's killing it out there uh can, let me know if you hear that audio okay and it's not too loud or too quiet oh mackie b's in the chat let's go how's it going my dude how is out uh, how is subnautica treating you mate i've uh, i've been unable to jump on just like jump into the streams I i've dipped in and out uh you seem like really far in like that everything in there is uh, i don't recognize it because it seems way uh you're in the end game or you know mid game 
when you speak of the devil, he shall appear. It's okay, it's audio. Okay, I will just turn it down in my headphones a little bit then, because it's quite loud for me. I also put streamer mode on, so hopefully we don't get got. Oh, you can't see that. So what am I talking about? All right, new game. Let's go. Select archetype. The thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts and comes up with original ideas. Okay, so these are like your classes almost. Oh, you can create your own. That is tempting, but character creation could go on for some time. Good, thanks, man. Looking forward to having you on for poor next week. Me too, mate. And if you're about uh, Thursday, jump on this if you fancy it. Well, I mean, we'll see what it's like first. <laughs> you might not want to. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, Portal sounds good, mate. I think that would be a lot of fun. Thinking of picking up Subnautica soonish. Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's a great game. I didn't get I, I didn't get as far into it, but it seems like the deeper you go, the better it gets kind of thing. As is, as is often the case with those like survival type games. Right, so we've got the thinker. The sensitive is very psychological. A magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. That sounds very uh, appealing. Or extremely physical, interacts with the words through his body. Mm. Matron. Gets things done, but dumb as a rock. I'm thinking sensitive, or should we go for a character creation, you guys? Is this going to take me like half an hour? If I do a character creation, it's the only thing. N not a problem if we want to do that. I'll try to rein in my Disco Elysium fanboyness, but a fair warning, this is top five game ever for me. We love to hear it. Uh, yeah, gen general rule with the... not It's not a rule. Do whatever the fuck you want. But uh, just generally for the streams. Um, if you've played the game, great. Feel free to give me hints and suggestions because I have a propensity to get lost, confused... That's about yeah. That's a lot of the that's a lot of the time. Uh, but obviously no spoilers for me. I've never played this, and for anyone else in the chat who hasn't played this before, we want to avoid spoilers. But we do appreciate the help. Can you give us Disco Virgins a brief rundown of the game? Yeah, I mean, I really don't know much about it, mate. I uh, apart from that, it's good. <laughs> I think mechanically, I'm just going to go for the sensitive. By the way, you guys. But yeah, my understanding. Uh, the presets are pretty good, but it's up to you. Maybe check the options and see if it appeals. These options? Can I go back if I do this? All right, let's have a look. Okay, so this is just a mix of the mix of the four. Motor mo motorix, agile, physique, psyche, raw brain power. That seems pretty... I'm just... I am just going to go with the sensitive. That's that's what they gave me. Five... Phys, uh, five psyche. And I guess this is a little... Uh, perk or something. Good luck when you get to the next screen. Okay. I'm prepping myself. Right. Okay. Before we go to the next screen, my understanding of this is... Um, I'm not... I have no idea what the story is about. I think you're a drunk... And you, you lose your memory or something and you have to recover your memory, but you're also a detective and you're solving a murder mystery or something. Could be completely wrong. But mechanically, I think that it is an RPG, but all of your decision, or a lot of the decision making is based around dialogue, uh, which is why like these, what you would usually think of as quite, you know, your standard traits, which is like strength and stuff. They're a little more nuanced and a little more focused on dialogue, I think. Personally started out as the intellectual guy, but all three playthroughs have been very different and very entertaining. All right. Oh, for your own character only? Oh, well, now I want to do that search. All right, we're going sensitive. It called out to me. I want to be mentally unstable. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. Begin. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Is that my ancient reptilian brain? Ever. Don't have to do anything anymore, alright? Never, ever. Simply keep on non-existing. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. All right. 
mind and Sounds good. Them out. Time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Okay. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. How about you cough up Coming some more right of that up, sweet sir. oblivion? Smooth passy. <laughs> Alonzi, let's go. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Borough. I wonder how long we can keep this going for. <laughs> Look, there's... I am tired of being this type of animal. And who gives a shit? Tan's ex-wife. It's a good voice actor, isn't it? Do you want me to upgrade that to a one-way trip, sir? Wait, don't stop, keep singing. Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the How can you make your, your voice that like deep and gravelly? The limbed and headed machine. Oh, my face is in the way of the text, isn't and it? And undignified suffering is fired up again. It wants to walk the second. desert. Hurting. Longing. Dancing to disco music. Uh come again? You can take it. You're Should I? I'll, pu I'll push my thing over to the other side, I think. I've just got to make sure I get all of them at once. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, group. Let me move that over there. Okay. Better? Uh, da, 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 da. Medium success. You can take. Ta you can take it. You're a champion. The stench of Oops. liquor rises from your mouth. Is my and body got it, individual voices? Ungodly headache. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? A fiery streak penetrates your skull. I'm already like super confused. This is wild, Sergius. Alright, I'm opening my eyes. Dude, that was some mad trip, bro. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator? That guy sounded like an alligator, the first one he was speaking. Uh, hopefully, the, yeah, hopefully the text is always on this right-hand side of the screen, if so, we're golden now. <laughs> yeah, don't steal Sergius's jokes, mate. Should I immediately pick up the bottle again? Oh, it's empty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Okay, so they're interactable objects, I guess. We should we get dressed? Should we get dressed or should we just rock out with our with our in our boxes for a while? Yeah, see this guy I think I'm an alcoholic. Look at my flipping portrait. What's this about? I'm a mess. Uh let's go sh uh, shirt, no trousers. Yeah, that looks that's a good look. Oh, maybe the tie as well. Oh, can't get it. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow horrific. attached itself to one of the blades. My guy sounds kind of like Idris Elba. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend. Succeeded. wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Well, I've got to try and grab the tie. This is... This is a white check. You may retry it. One and one always loses. Six and six always wins. I am... I'm a little confused as to what that means. We're going to go for it. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap 
Nailed it. It's released from the blade. Peak warning, alcohol chic. Warning, the necktie is no longer contained. <laughs> what you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. Okay. The knot reminds you of a noose. Pull on the fan. I think that will break it. The blades come squeak into a halt. Okay, no, I just turned the fan off. All right. Broken window. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Okay, so we have like rolls to determine what we can do. Six six always wins. One and one always loses. But what do you mean? Assess the damage. How would you check do failure? That? So that was eight. What are you even trying to do? I don't know what I'm trying to do. To be honest, I think I'll actually have to pass on these streams. This game looks fantastic. Yeah, mate. It's one of them. I don't want you uh, ruining the uh, the fun if you're thinking of playing playing it through yourself. Look out the, the window. Let's try that. Hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean. And some it could be D and D esque. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how the pass the like the pass check system works, but oh, the door has been locked from the inside. A key. Shoe. One shoe. I'll take one of those. I'm <laughs> really... Maybe I have to get changed. Ricochet. How's it going, mate? Thanks for joining. How was your Christmas and, uh, and New Year's and all that, mate? Your skills have personalities. Right. I'm going to get... Oh, right. It gives me... Uh, I have I have minus one sav savour fare. But I want that electrochemistry, so we're going to have to put the trousers on. They're kind of cool trousers, to be fair. Oh, I had a shirt as well. I just threw the blazer on straight away. God, I'm a mess. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. Oh, right. It look. says, whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. <laughs> Ricochet. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Right, so I so my skills have personalities. Got it. So I guess as we, or well, potentially as we increase our skills, we get like more invested in the personalities, or we become better acquainted with them. There is a single key on the ring, the number one. It should open the door. Gotcha. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. So is this guy just a narrator? Or is Hot he me? Like my my brain. Covers the mirror. My inner conscience. You cannot see yourself. Just the outline of a man. How often will I stream surge? Uh, probably tw twice a week. Tuesdays, Thursdays is the plan. Um, depends how, how well, well, not how well they go, how far I can get through the games. I think if... Because I know this is a bit longer than the previous games I've been playing. So um, Suddenly, you I might up it to three no streams a week if you there. You I feel like we want to pick up some momentum, you know? Realize if you have no memory of the face that awaits you there. Nothing? Really? All recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world oh. ending proportions. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there. And you will never unbecome it. Inland Empire. So that's like that's like my psyche. Easy success. There are some there are some systems going on that I have no I, I have no idea about. Uh, um, shall I wipe let's wipe the mirror anyway? Let's see what happens if we don't trust the Inland Empire. Behold. Good looking chap. Oh my god, my my portrait changed. He you know he does look like he's a bit of a drinker. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? 
This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Maybe you can play the game alongside. Yeah, no worries, mate. That is the type of games we look for on this channel, is games you you know, you really want to play once, or the first time is, is the best time. So I totally get it, man. No worries. Looks like a nice bloke. Yeah. He's trying to smile. Uh, I'm not making it. The face is making itself. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. I'm going to keep making the face. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? <laughs> it's an expression of pain. You are correct. Oh. Encyclopedia Formidable. Mate, what is going on? These are roles to... This is a white check. You may retry it. Uh, attempt to stop the expression from happening or dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Very low, 3%, but why not? What's the harm in failing? Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Okay. Oh, will attempt to stop it as well if there's no uh, drawback. It's too late. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It will take a minor <laughs> neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. <laughs> All right. Looks like me in about 20 years. 3% chance to get it basically means only if you roll a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Okay. Whereas, so, so if it was 50%, basically, yeah, I, I think I get it. So anything over... The average dice roll, whatever that would be from two dice. I'm not going to do that maths. But you need, you would need to be in the top 3% of possible total scores from a 2d6. Which is basically 6-6 six, six, or maybe 6-5. Alright, dressed and ready to roll. Look at, look at him. Man, he is so pale, my guy. Let's go speak to this lovely woman over here. Hello, officer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Okay, so this guy's voice, this guy is the narrator, I think. And then, and then, like you were saying, uh, Ricochet, your skills have personality, so they have other voices. Mineral Zone, what's up? How are you doing? Great to have you on the stream, my friend. Um, forgotten how good the writing in this game is. That's that's music to my ears. It's like arguably the favorite thing about all games, in my opinion. Uh, officer, I am military personnel. Turn your bloated face away from her beauty. No, uh, we can talk to her. No. She seems perplexed by your question. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. The young woman shakes her head slowly. <laughs> Chief Technical Officer? No, you're a police officer, sir. Uh, I trust you, I think. Goddamn right, I'm a policeman. Okay, cool. I won't. Miss Orange Disco Dancer. She means it. She wouldn't defy authority, however sweaty and bloated it may look. No need to be alarmed. I was just getting into character, you know. Okay. She breathes. In. This is Whoa. interesting. Something wants to come out of you. A bit of vomit. Thankfully, you <laughs> keep it down because your body does not control you. This is. I'm not sure what to make of this right now. This is not what I expect. I kind of knew it was like this, but this is also completely different to what I was expecting, and completely different to anything I've played before. I can only imagine the smell he produces right now. Yeah, just a bit. I mean, he did pick his clothes up off the floor and off a ceiling fan and in the bath, so. Sir, How did you know I'm a police officer? You've been here for three days. 
on official police business, as you put it. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Okay, fifty-eight percent. How many? How many? What's? I don't know how many scores you can get in. So you can go for anything from two to twelve. So fifty-eight percent would be about seven plus, seven or eight. I don't even know what Try the, the selection was. I got seven. So it must why be seven. are you still doing this? Try the expression. I'm at death's door, bloated, a goner, and still. <sighs> does the longing ever stop? Alcohol raises testosterone levels, especially in men. The levels remain elevated after inebriation ends and the pain begins. You seek comfort. It's only natural. I'm gonna be a sleazeball cop. You know it. What other kind of cop is there? No one wants to be the good cop. This is kind of sending me for a trip because like, uh, if, you, if you have seen my last video, the Obradin story, after playing that game, this, this is basically what I had in mind for a video where like because in that game you have the dialogue from from each character and then i was adding in narration on top and that is basically what this is doing so it's kind of crazy so i don't know how i'm gonna make this video <laughs> it's done it for me <laughs> she puts out her cigarette and he's got a way better voice than me i mean how do i compete with that she looks back at you a light glinting off her eyes off her Eyes. And now, it never stops. Well. Goodbye. Gonna hit on the first lady you see. There was no hit on option there, unfortunately. I kind of want her, not gonna lie. <laughs> she had a great voice too, you know? I mean, can, can, can I, can I, yeah, I mean. Just, I know the she just left, literally. Closed. Just immediately this walk in. This door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. <laughs> Imagine that she just she just left in a really like casual way, closes the door, and you immediately hear just trying to open it. <laughs> now nah, we'll leave her alone. She didn't want to be uh, she didn't want to be disturbed. It's still smoking. I don't. I feel like. I'm not quite sure how to narrate this for you. I mean, you can read, right? You don't need me to say everything. Um, so I'm not sure. I just think if I speak everything, every line of dialogue, my voice is going to go and you're going to get sick of my voice, which neither of us want that. Chester Prell. Oh, no, that's the radio. There's something on the table. Money? Hell yeah. Find his keepers. You can click on the various circles around the area. There was a hit on option? Oh no, was there? Oh, gutted. That is a shame. Uh, <laughs> let her know you want to physically. You can click on the various circles around the areas. So that was that, yeah, that, the tab is like the highlight button as well. Oh, my other shoe. Amazing. Snakeskin shoes. Is this set in like the 70s? I'm getting that kind of vibe. Uh, that was the dice roll. Oh, that was the dice roll he did. Clicking them gives XP so you can put more points into skills. It's a lot of dialogue, so I wouldn't recommend it. Gotcha. Yeah, like I think just the the kind of observation bits. I won't I won't read out everything because we will just be here forever. These circles. You should oh, take that fat, okay. juicy cigarette butt from the tray, <laughs> light it up, and smoke the living shit out of it. Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster. Jesus, these murderer, are some personal attacks, my guy. The gnome of Jeroma. You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive <laughs> cigarette stub, still smouldering deliciously. The, the bad thing about this is he just realized that I don't have my vape on me. And now I want it. <laughs> but I don't need it. She broke it at the filter. Can't How smoke that. very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette. Or better mm, yet, great an entire pack. Strike that. A carton. 
Yeah. Make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied. <laughs> smoke them all. Man, I have, I have some very invasive thoughts, don't I? The Gnome of Jeroma album title. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh my god, look at this. So these are all Psyche. And these... Okay, so we just heard from Electrochemistry, which is Physique, so... But this is a five. Go to Party Planet, love, and be loved by drugs. <laughs> so is increasing this going to make this more... You know, like, I'm going to become more addicted to drugs? Or have better control over it? Electrochemistry coming in clutch. I get it, man. It's a powerful thing. What's Esprit de Corpse? Connector Station 41. Understand cop culture. Endurance. So my physique is kind of high. Okay, so I don't have great hand-eye coordination. Perception, which is which is often comes up in D&D, uh, &D, so that's not good. Reaction speed. Ah, so Savoir Faire. Well, that was why I had like the 3% chance to hit that roll, wasn't it? Sneak under their noses, stun with immense panache. Oh, that's a shame. That sounds quite fun. Learned skill. Oh, wow. These, these really is like D&D. Bonus from items, minus one. Yeah, because we like our trousers gave us less Savoir Faire, I guess, because they're not great trousers. Maybe we can get better trousers. The higher the value, the better your electrochemistry-related dice rolls. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Whether they are good things or bad things is yet to be uh, determined, I guess. But we're... So, yeah, what was Island Empire? Hunches and gut feelings, dreams in waking life. Okay, so that's high. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, the idea I'll... seems to make your neck expand. Suddenly, the garish tie feels very snug. <laughs> Why does my necktie have a voice? <laughs> or you could not do that. Oh, okay, no so they're talking. like having discussions between them. What's volition? Volition. Hold yourself together. Okay, so, so volition and electrochemistry, not going to get on. Shivers is my fave skill. Shivers. Raise the hair on your neck. Tune into the city. Okay, so I don't. I, I need five hundred experience for a skill point. Uh, now nah, I'm go. I'm I'm back in electrochemistry right here. I should not not do that. Good. <laughs> They'll make you stronger and better. You're too old to be cool, <laughs> but fine cigarettes. He's Smoke talking facts. That's the, the problem. He's talking Instantly facts. Instantly a cool renegade man. A mystical red dragon with smoke rising from his nostrils. Who doesn't want that? Plus, smoking them gives massive bonuses. Uh, okay, that's a task. Smoking them gives ma massive bonuses. Air quotes. So he definitely said that with air quotes. Okay. You need to get your hands on some cigarettes and then smoke them for those massive bonuses. And put them in your hand and the smokes will do the rest. All right, that's our, it's the first game I've played where your very first task is to find cigarettes. I'm into it. Looks like a dragon to me. Uh, we haven't been in here, have we? Can we go in? Mm, nope, doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna check I can't hit on her because I feel like the we missed door a, is closed. We missed a chance. There is no answer. Damn. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. Okay, that was my that was my perception. My, so so these are these are background roles that are going, I guess. A tremendous loneliness comes over you. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. Okay. Um. Swallow my emotions. The door Classic. It's closed. Still Double check. No answer. Just just. Still nothing. Okay. You should punch a fucking hole in it. <laughs> oh my god. Shall I punch the door? Would love it if he was a vapor instead. Well, there's still time. I don't think they had vapes in the 70s if this is this set in the uh, 70s. Should we, should we punch through the door or suppress the edge? Or shout fucking whore. <laughs> I'm going to punch the door. You slam your fist into the vinyl. 
It does not produce a hole. She must be the terrified. The sits sturdily in the frame, and your fist hurts. This was all a very good, normal thing to do. <laughs> okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> Just grazed my knuckles. Broke my hand. Man, she must be terrified. Trump le monde. It's all right. Oh. Do I only get one chance to come up to pull up those things? Oh, no, there we go. That's the newspaper they're talking about. Now just walk away like a chad with a broken fist. I'm trying to go down the stairs. There we go. It's the 70s, man. You get away with anything. Punching doors, harassing women, smoking cigarettes. I was like, night. That's what that's what else. That's what being a cop is. Just getting so angry, and then being like, man, I need to cool off and going to smoke cigarettes. Hi, mate. What's up, my guy? A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purposely ignoring. Okay, that's empathy. So I'm good at empathy. Even now, he's purposefully ignoring you. Look at the stuffed bird. <laughs> a competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying okay. to mend it. Oh yes, Gart. As you know Gart well. Punching doors, <laughs> harassing women, smoking cigarettes. That's going to be my 2023, man. We're bringing it back. Can't say spoilers, but I see what kind of cop Sam is going to be. Champion of men. Looks like All right, I'm going to try getting this good side then. The shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. Something about it makes you feel bitter. What is Island Empire again? Hunches and gut feelings. Okay. So, I guess to be trusted, or not, because I like I'm clearly mentally unwell or unstable. Uh, what happened to the bird? Or can I help? I'll say just what happened. Look, Let's not go. Your buddy is over there. Oh, okay. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. All right, fine. I'll, I'll, I won't bother you if you're busy. It's all right. I'm not all bad. Just to win. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Where's my friend? This guy. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Kim Kitsurai. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. All right. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this. <laughs> oh no, it's the cops. I'm a rogue cop. Um, Alright, well that's good to know. He's going to save me. I'm going to have to be checking like what all these ones mean until I get a bit more used to them. Ah, cop culture. Makes sense. Uh, Shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. <gasps> Do I have a name? This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Oh, yes. Get Damn. creative. Conceptualize. All right, we're going to try for the role, guys. Get some, uh, get some name ideas ready in case this works. We don't have a great chance, but I guess we're looking for like a five. No, maybe a four. Well, the, no, sorry, top four, so like an eight. Raphael Ambrosius Gusto. Well, that's my name. <laughs> it's very cool, but when I come like a douche, if I call myself that, it's very, very cool, but maybe a little too ostentatious. My name is Raphael Ambrosius Gusto. Shugs McDevitt. 
I mean, this is quite a cool name. It is a bit ostentatious. You instinctively run your hand over the multi-pattern silk <laughs> of your tie. Its slickness gives you comfort and reassurance. Don't worry, Raphael Ambrosius <laughs> Casteau is one classy name for one classy <laughs> cop. Why does my tie talk to me? All right, my name is Raphael Ambrosius Costo. Pleasure yes. to meet your acquaintance. Wow. He doesn't even process what you just said. He just moves on. Shame. I, w I did kind of want to go for Shug Shugs McDevitt. What do you call a drunk alligator in a vest? Great question, Shelby. Do you tell. It's a name a dragon would it have. It looks like we had a little skidding error. Raphael Ambrosius too, Costo. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? You mean him? Not toward the cafeteria manager. Yeah, just talk to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask okay. him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Sure. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police have found How's it going, Shelves? Thanks for joining. Full force. Lovely to have you here. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? You've got the brackets joke. It's very important. Some people don't actually want to, you know, get confused and think there is an alligator in a vest walking around. So, uh, just to be safe, parentheses joke. Uh, have you mapped out the initial interviews? What interviews? Or lie? At the 57th. We I'm like not going to lie to this guy. If he, if, if, is, I'm guessing this guy is like my, uh, my partner. The surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Prepare an inter initial list of persons. Oh, he thinks I, like, have my shit together. Yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. Right. And the interviews? Uh, yes, I have. Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. He's my Robin. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to, you know, be a, basically a massive dick to everyone, but not this guy because we're going to be, like, partners and we're going to have a bromance. I did just lie to him, but you know, I'm I'm anxious. I'm, I want to make a good impression, and I'm extremely hungover. So, have you removed the dead body from the tree? Uh, look, man, you know, yeah, completely. Completely. Does that mean you took the body down from the tree? Dead body? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no. I so didn't. the body is still in the tree. This is the yes. first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. Ah, he it did want me to do it. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer Could be, be quite funny tree. if you're a constant asshole to him. Yeah. It could. We're going to I'm going to have to we're going to have to find the rapport, you know. If he's good to me, I'll probably be good to him with the occasional like dickery, I imagine. Uh where it has been hanging. He looks like he's probably going to be able to put up with my we shit, should but we'll go see. There as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Okay. <laughs> uh, should we test being a dick? <laughs> what if I told you I'm not really a police officer? But I can't remember anything is fair. I'm going to tell him that. I'm going to be honest. I can see you drank last night and the night before. And that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. Good. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. Okay. But as I said... The dead body should be our number one concern. Don't Kim is innocent bean. <laughs> Fly to the UK and throw some punches. Well, yeah, fair enough. I did actually, I saw a... Oh, I don't want to be talking here for dialogue. With discomfort. Painkiller. Mm. So that's a success. So what would it have done if I failed? Just not, just, you would have just gone away with it? Is, of course... Morphine, <laughs> they won't have that. So cigarettes will have to do. Electrochemistry is an absolute menace. Uh, okay, let's get going. As to you, officer. New task, interview cafeteria manager, inspect victim's body. Yeah, I saw there was a setting where, uh, like it was like a Twitch mode where you can have um, your audience vote on, on um, dialogue options. But I think it was... Uh, just for Twitch, which is a shame because it asked for like a Twitch key or something. I didn't. I'll have another look because um, that could be kind of fun. The vo the voiceover in this game is so glorious. Yeah, I'm already really liking it, especially the tie. 
The Thai's got, uh, well, they've all got very raspy, deep, gravelly voices, which I'm into. Just have some days where you're his best mate and some days where you're nothing but a dick to him, really mess with his mental state. Yeah, that's what you would do if you were an alcoholic, right? I'm just, I'm just getting into the character, so. Electrochemistry knows what's up. That is that my highest trait? Oh no, that's a five. So so my hunches and gut feelings are my highest trait, which I guess is maybe why it's coloured in. I also have good cop culture, empathy, authority. So I guess I should be playing into this if we want to win, but it doesn't feel like a game you really need to, to try and win, you know, so far. Have you died yet? I haven't died. We've We've only managed to get out of the room uh, we s we smashed down a, a poor lady's door. Well, we didn't actually break it, but I, I think I gave her um, a bit of a scare. And then I came downstairs, spoke to the guy stuffing a, a bird, and now we're here. My best friend just got the tie for her husband for Christmas. Oh, my God, amazing. Is it that um, unique a tie? I guess it's just one of those, like, if you know, you know. Unless it talks. If you're about to embark on an investigation, Ooh. shouldn't you have a badge? Should definitely have a badge. You mean you don't have a badge? Oh, I have my badge. I'm a policeman. Of course, I have my badge. Oh, fucking... If you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. Of course, I got you my would badge. need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. Mm hmm. Good. It's flying by the seat of my pants. Kitsuragi is now in your party. Okay. You can talk to him whenever. By interacting with him. Loved Shivers. Yeah, I think Ricochet said Shivers was amazing too. Uh, da, da, da. Sometimes failing physically or mentally hurts you. Sometimes you lose info. Okay. You escaped, I think, two opportunities for death already. I did almost mess with the ceiling fan, which maybe could have killed me. There was a bath. Maybe I could have drowned. There's not really a strategy of skills. The skills are more what kind of vibe you want. Okay. That's great. I, we love that. We love a vibe. It's a, an RPG in the truest... Oh, my God. An RPG in the truest sense of, like... You should find your character and we'll see what happens. The cryptozoologist's wife. The elderly woman turns to you with a smile. Wait, who's sweetie? Does that mean you like me? <laughs> You're a handsome man, officer, with your moustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. But dear, you're not for me. Oh, I'm wow. too old and too married, besides. In another time and place, she might have flirted back. <laughs> but that ship sailed long ago. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce Ceiling myself. Ceiling can kill you. And the mirror. Oh, okay. I stared into the mirror for a long time. I'm leaving. Maybe I can My literally go crazy. My husband and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. So I'm presuming this has uh, sort of different endings and multiple endings, which is interesting. I haven't done a game with multiple endings for a video yet. It might mean I'm going to have to play the absolute shit out of this game, um, which good job. It seems really great. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley Crew. Hire on the spot. Hire her on the spot. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am and what I'm doing or anything. Um, I'm going to leave. Of course, dear. Because I I think I should probably get a badge, right? To the 41st Precinct. The lieutenant said that you can use the radio in his car. Okay, we're, so we, need, we not, don't have to worry about that yet. This was like the thing we needed to do first. The backyard of the whirling in rags. Okay. Just need to suppress the urge to throw up. And interview the cafeteria manager. Okay, no, that was the first thing we did. We needed to do. Oh, that's my inventory. I can wear hats. Okay, sweet. God, I'm so ugly. I need a shave. Well, I need a lot of things. I mean, look at my jacket. But that's not important. Oh, don't forget to click the circles in the environment. It gives XP you can put into skills. So they were like, oh, the, like these things. That is a circle in the environment. The Royal Pinball Machine is unplugged. 
base story ends basically the same. The mystery. Oh, okay. Uh, the mystery solution doesn't technically change, but the flavor is really different depending on you play. Gotcha. A massive branching dialogue tree. Then is this giving me XP? Then. I'm not seeing it pop up. It's like a beat pad. Oh, the way the lyrics would be. All right, let's speak to this guy. Gat, what was his name? Gart. The man Gart. with the unimpressive Garte. beard notices you approaching. Okay, I'm getting XP. Nice. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. The thing you're solving is the same, but how you turn out varies really wildly. Noise. Character driven. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. It is even giving me a little bit of pause for me to say this in between. Yes. But I don't need to, I guess. It just it's just weirding me out because this is literally how I try to make my last video. <laughs> I am And they're doing it, they're doing it better. Prison fifty seven. This is an interdistrict investigation. So joining me from Prison forty one. As I said, I'm Detective Raphael Ambrosius Costo. Oh, I'm currently in between names. <laughs> Fantastic. Currently in between names. It's like when you've left your band, but you haven't decided on a solo artist name yet. Kim is about to say something. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. Is it how the Outer Worlds narrative went? We'll see. Study. It was you who placed the call, yes? It's more that it's more the fact that you know, for the Obra Dinn one, uh, I I've, I was yeah like narrating outside of the character dialogue, and this no, is kind of I doing that as well. No, I just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. Who made the call? Mm -mm. Call Sylvie using Kim's shortwave. Okay. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective. Yes? I have everything. You? Oh, you mean, do I have questions? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer? <laughs> they all know I'm a fraud. The cafeteria manager is clearly agitated again. Uh, where exactly Behind is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. And how do we get That's up there? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. There's a separate thing to, to give you plus one XP there. per circle. You no don't have it yet. Oh, I got you. The hole is big enough for the Franco Nigerian Still worth checking cavalry stuff to flip through. Yeah. We'll see. I'm sure there's loads of things that'll take my fancy. I don't want to just be yeah, clicking around just for the sake of it, though. Again, like, there's so much dialogue already. Does he want already. you to feel guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. Uh, who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. <laughs> Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Psh. Methinks the lady doth protest too much. Suddenly he turns up. Blood is being pushed to your mouth. What's half light? You should hound him on this. <laughs> hound him hard. The prey drive says. <laughs> this is amazing. What's hard light? Half light, sorry. Let the body take control, threaten people. All right, let's go. He's been, he clearly has a problem. No, did you kill I him? Didn't. You can tell me, Date. You killed him, right? I didn't. I don't appreciate this. What is this? Why'd you have to kill him, though? Do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless, <laughs> his expression 
Unbeatable. Did, did he hurt you? That one? Did you get some kind of sick kick out of killing him? What are you, an idiot? I told you I haven't killed anyone. Oh, anyone? Oh, you killed someone else then? He ignores you. <laughs> God, I love it. I'm gonna have to play into the asshole. It's too fun. What's your problem with Why me? Why would I have a problem with you? You're a hero, cop. You're being sarcastic. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hospital Oh, I already room? solved the murder. <laughs> or is he being sarcastic? Ah, the dead body. I didn't actually get down to it, did I? Oh my god, I did all those things? No, you see, actually, ah. you didn't. You haven't done <laughs> anything even remotely useful since you got here. What have I been doing then? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I just got here, remember? Was there anything else? Alright, I'm done roasting this guy. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 30 experience. Not so fast. You owe me 130 Nailed it. Royale. This game is so goddamn funny. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know. I guess yeah, it's very it's very clever with the writing. And I yeah, but the, what what's cool is by the sounds of it, I could play this entirely different. I'm just leaning massively into the asshole cup uh, persona. No one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. Surely no he wouldn't be going around drinking instead of solving cases. Imagination. Surely not. But. Uh, no one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. But let's bail! <laughs> Time to push the eject button. Sounds like a responsibility. You don't like those. <laughs> Where is my horrific necktie and all this? You know, you can't plan. I've got what is this like fucking 30 different types of uh, of attributes, but also a necktie. He's going to be super un unexpected and predictable. No, don't listen to him. It's madness. Just talk okay so uh, that's a, I'm really bad at that skill so I'm not going to be able to slip away unnoticed so I'm going to ask if the necktie is real I guess oh excuse me you oh no sorry 130 real right now he pronounces the R with a mock aristocratic accent the IIR or interisolary real is the global reserve currency Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume he means you owe him some money. But I don't want him to know that. So, by real, do you mean some form of street cred? No, you don't owe me street cred. You owe me money. You owe this establishment 130 real. You can play it like a confused innocent child. <laughs> I was a sad boy. Thai best boy. Your clothes all give you pluses and minuses to stats, okay? It's extremely fun to do something you are definitely going to fail. Okay, yeah, failing is usually better. Okay, good to know, good to know. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! <laughs> but what exactly is money? Oh, there's too many good fucking dialogue options right now, man. What are you, a philosopher? <laughs> Since I woke up, I've had trouble remembering even the most basic concepts of reality. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room. I remember or, this check. It's a fun one to fail. Oh, I will. I'll go back to it if I try. And nine packs of royal extra. Right, because I'm. Tr I want tr to. I'm trying to be really. super suave and failing. That does sound like it could be funny. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> where, where do I get it from? Are you serious? <laughs> from your work? I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess. I'm sorry, I don't think cops can take bribes. Some do take recompense, but only to survive. The lieutenant is dead serious. It, he He's going to be the yin to my yang, isn't he? Look at my profile picture. I, oh, you can't see it? Hold on, you guys. Look at my face. <laughs> like, I'm such a mess. Look at that. God, should I put myself up here instead? I mean, that is, that is there's not a lot else going on here, to be fair. We'll see. I'll go up top left for now. Um, is this money? <laughs> yes, it is. I'm going to count them for him. No, you see, 
That's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. 100 times smaller? Yes. But that's horrible. It is. <laughs> Amazing. For a moment, his antipathy is overcome by compassion for the sheer smallness of the money. It demonstratively suppresses a world-weary sigh. Uh, should I arrest him? <laughs> oh my god. The expression holds strong. The morale is flying high. Yeah, that was the thing I sh I had in the in the in the mirror, right? You also aren't covering your stats. Oh, are these my stats? Health and morale. Yeah. Oh, you've got a playlist, Chelbs. I was saying. Uh, I don't know if you caught it at the start. I was. Uh, I was saying, if anyone has any good video game recommendations, uh, uh, video game soundtrack re recommendations, I should, should say, let me know. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. Because um, I, I can can't use them stay here any in the longer background if he for doesn't. streams when I'm just chatting away. If he away. doesn't have the money by tonight, then... He shrugs. Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Working from home? Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation gotcha. started now. I can report my badge while I'm there as well. Thanks, Gart, mate. Great talking to By you. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place Discard sure thought. isn't it. Okay. Do I even have one? But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? Oh, you Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater is a banger. That is so true, mate. I don't even think that's on uh, Spotify, unfortunately. Yeah, some of them definitely would get me copyright strike. Like, I think any Nintendo um, music is uh, is copyrighted. But Snake Eater is a fucking banger soundtrack. That title screen music is so good. South, maybe? You don't really know, do you? Does this mean I'm homeless? South, maybe. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on the building? I'll live in a dumpster. Hobo cop, that's me. Entertain Ooh. the thought when you get the time. Maybe oh, being a hobo do? and a cop <laughs> has its advantages? Maybe. What is this? A thought cabinet. Internalize. What? Temporary research bonus. One composure. Mi uh, sorry, minus one composure. Ungainly and rambling. <laughs> research time, four hours, 20 minutes. A cop and a hobo. A hobo cop. Upsides. Can be disheveled. Doesn't have to wash. Carries himself with a lurched gusto. <laughs> Hobocop doesn't need anyone or anything. No one can kick you out because you don't have a home. Never pay rent again. Never again here. You're drunk. Why did you even come here? Harry, go home. You're embarrassing yourself. Downsides. Are there any? I mean, seriously, guys, give me one. Okay. Do I just internalize that? I guess I will. I'm a Hobocop, you guys. This soundtrack is top tier. Yeah, I, I think I'm unfortunately going to miss all of the soundtrack because I put streamer mode on. Because uh, I guess, well, I guess it's copyrighted, which is a shame. Stardew Valley is great. Yeah, that's good. Katamari Damak Damacy? I haven't heard of that. Not just the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack. <clears throat> is there a way to pay for all of it tonight? What, the uh, the money we owe the bartender? KKMLKJKL. That thanks for making it that easy to say. But thank you for joining the stream, more importantly. Um, I'm gonna call you KK, I think. Or Kukukamajikal. But I think I'll go with KK. But thanks for being here, how are you doing? Uh, I don't think I've seen you around before, so welcome to the stream. Get settled. Um, thoughts give you certain positive negative perks once internalized. Okay. So, 
I mean, this is making it sound like there are no negatives, but I'm sure that's not actually true. Oh, it was this, wasn't it? Minus one composure. So I'm not actually sure what the uh, positives will be, but we'll find out. The GTA San Andreas theme is on Spotify. Yeah, noise. You don't really know what the effects are until researched. Okay. You'll have a bunch of options and the thoughts you internalize will give you bonuses and shape your options. If you play it right, you can pay the bill tonight. All right. Pay for damages. Or you won't have a place to stay. Well, I mean, if I'm going to be Hobo Carp, I don't need to pay, do I? But we will try to. Because I think as as uh, as convincing as that was, I don't think Hobo Carp is actually going to give us many bonuses. Uh, he he pointed. It said he pointed to the west when he said, "Where is it?" But we don't have a compass. I guess for for him, west is is that way. But we came from that way, so let's try outside this way. I get he probably means left of the building, not literally left of him. An old Japanese game, Katamari Damacy is an old Japanese game. There was a wheel ass, and there have been some sequels. I, the the name sounds familiar, but I've never never heard of it. But I'll check out the soundtrack for sure. The God of War soundtrack is absolutely amazing. Um, which because I've been I now that I've finished that. Okay, was was that west of him? I feel like that was east of him, but never mind. Stream lagging for you? Uh oh, oh, it says YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain stream seeding. Okay. That'll be why I was probably chatting and reading dialogue for too long. So hopefully this will fix it. All around you, rain falls on the great city of Rivershaw. Rain drips from the eaves and floods the gutters. There is so much to say, explain, but like this game has so many options of tackling things, it's kind of spoilery to talk about them. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, I obviously appreciate it if... Uh, I appreciate any not trying to spoil things for me, because it does seem like uh, this game is going to throw all manner of stuff at me. Um, all around you, rain falls on the great city of Revacol. Washing the, the filth away. The spring must be here. The snow is melting. It's still giving me that error message. I'm now conscious, like, every time the screen is stationary. Looking up at the sky, cold water dripping from your hair. What do I see? Grey sky like great battleships, clouds colliding with one another. Rain falls down on the world. <laughs> yeah, I know, Cam. I don't know what it is. I think maybe because I'm streaming at 1440p, but I'm only doing that because the 1080p streams look like garbage on YouTube. <laughs> so... Your shirt sticks to your chest. Which is the annoying. Shoulders of your disco but hopefully it sorts itself out in a bit. The cold finds its way in under your skin. You shiver, and the city shivers with you. All right, let's get moving. This rain will not let up anytime soon. You should get a raincoat. There's a freight to the east. They sell them there. Gotcha. Okay, so we wanted to go to the car, right? More do you discover on your own the better yeah the, uh, yeah the soundtrack is uh, unfortunately not on my side i just i did a test stream earlier and i got copyright striked on that and i was only in the menus for one second i hit street i clicked streamer mode on but that five minute stream got copyrighted so i guess they're clamping down on it pretty hard the lag stopped for me it's all right now yeah it has, it has gone okay all right. Well, I mean, I mean, there is a lot of dialogue in this game, but at least it disappears as soon as you start moving. That's that's the main thing. And hopefully, if it lags, it's not too much for you guys. A human being. Oh, this. Oh, this is the body on the tree. What the hell's this guy doing? Kuno's got this. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than twelve. Oh yeah, Napa Kumpi Kuno. <laughs> Napa Kumpi. A moment of your time, please. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. <laughs> you should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Kuno 
goes with identity. Oh, Kuno. He wipes sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying. The rake, Kuno! He should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. Uh, <laughs> kids, you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. What? I'm going to ask him. What we, we should do. shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. Okay. Uh, I have some questions for you. All right. Kid on Entertain drugs. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. Never trust what anyone that refers to themselves in the got, third huh? person. Show me what you got. The body. What do you know about this? Or shit, about no it? Pig. What's your question? He doesn't seem like he's going to be very cooperative. Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. <laughs> uh. Or I don't have questions. Or help me. So I'll go if with help me. If I were me. to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got well, I don't want to waste my time. Usual. Also, just to avoid uh, STH, I did on my first playthrough, you don't need to rush the story at all. You can do it all at your own pace, pretty much. What is it copyright striking? Is the game soundtrack an original score? Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah, it's not like, a, I think it's an actual score, like a, uh, the name of the band escapes me, but it's like a band rather than uh, like orchestral stuff, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, uh, OST by British band called Sea Power, that's it. Not a game to speedrun or min max. Yeah, like we'll take we'll take it slow. Like I, I, it kind of it kind of runs at its own pace because of the uh, the voice acting anyway. Uh, so I don't want to just skip through that because that would ruin the whole experience. You have no idea what the usual is. Just ask whatever comes to mind. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fucking. Kuno <laughs> uses the fucking for target practice. Fuck kid. <laughs> End of conversation. Very strong. You should be this stoic. Do you know... Okay, have you seen anyone suspicious around? That's important. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Helpful. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno! What are all these names? Okay. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you didn't see it happening? You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Oh, okay. Where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... He looks around trying to come up with something. Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. Where is Night City? Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis. And you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp. If that's what you meant. All right. I don't believe you, but let's talk about something else. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost, f Oh, charming. Uh, okay. I don't think he's going to help. I'll ask who he is. Kuno's Kuno, pig? The boy points to his chest with both thumbs. Kuno. Primal. Violent. Half-Light was let the body take control, right? Let the body hit the floor. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna am I gonna beat him up? So you refer to yourself in the third person, I did think that. The fuck are you calling a third person? Kuno's the fucking first person? He looks slightly confused, but proud he came up with that retort. But right as he's getting distracted, you hear a malevolent hiss from behind the fence. Kuno switches between Scouse, Irish and Brummy. Yeah, he's all over the place. The thing behind the fence starts squealing, shrill and violent, like a fire alarm. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Run! Uh, excuse me, little girl. The sound gets louder as the child shouts at the windows overlooking the help! yard. He's got the Kuno! Help! <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, get out of here before the Kuno beats the shit out of you. I can't attack a child, yeah, but I'm fine. tempted. Drag your fat ass out of here, fat I wouldn't power past this Kuno detective, to be you. fair. Don't listen. Just go. <laughs> All right. I'm going to listen to my brain. What a charming young chap. Kid's ladder is rickety but still climbable. 
And we got a greenhouse. All right, let's see the body. The corpse looks at you. Is with he wearing? Has he got eyes. like a uh, the face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Endurance legendary. A legendary 14. So is that what it's, it's saying? I need... Oh no, I can't get 14 on a, on a roll. What, what does the 14 mean? Is that my endurance score? Endurance 4. Physic, physique base plus 4. So does that mean plus four on top of a on top of a roll? So the max I could get would be sixteen, and I need fourteen to get it. Is what I'm taking from that? Could be wrong. <laughs> You're nonce, nonce less than two hours in. Now that's a copyright strike if ever I've seen one. What stats did he go with? Missed that part. I went with uh, the preset. <clears throat> what was it called? Damn. Well, you can see my stats here, right? Five psych. I basically went with the guy who's like a mentally unstable, really called to be. So, influence myself and others is is a plus five, relatively strong, not very smart, not going to reason with many people, or myself. Uh, all right, so I th I guess we need basically a ten to hit this. As you breathe in, Woo, 11, the let's go. comes over you. It's a spell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting, you stand in it. Step closer. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Okay. How do we get him down? I should, should probably look inspect at that belt first. before we okay. consider taking him down. It looks worrisome. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow. Hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. Oh my, there's something on the belt. A familiar word that speaks to the thirst within you. Vermilion, in yellow letters, along the length of the twisting cargo belt. Only a deep longing for uh -oh. vermilion golden spirits lets you decipher the fading logo of the local brewery. <laughs> this is a bad time for a drink, right? Extremely. What kind of rope is this? Industrial strength. You can use for tying cargo to lorries. Okay, so, may so maybe it has something to do with that brewery? Golden, a vermilion golden spirits? Like in a circus. When the circus leaves town and they tie a black spotted giraffe to the wall of a carry pen, What? Like in a circus? Like in a circus? For transporting black spotted giraffes? Uh, no. More like in a uh, harbor. Like the one just east of here. I get a sense they used whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. We're assuming dock workers from the harbor did it. They sure wanted him to stay there. The polyester didn't seem strong. How do they get him up there? It's not merely polyester, it's still reinforced. See these lines? This is where the wires run. It just basically like a playthrough, that's me, yeah. Strands. You got some good rolls, honestly. Yeah, that was a huge roll. Which means I'm due for a failure. This All in good time. Him down much more problematic than I had assumed. So it seems, so, so basically my most likely failures are going to be anything to do with, uh, with intellect. So if I try and, uh... Yeah, if I try and persuade someone, or lie, I'm gonna fail, which could be funny. 
how did they get him up there? is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. He points to the buckle tying the belt to the branch above. I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt, buckle closes. It's what I would do. Seems easier than climbing up there. We're assuming Doc would work us from the harbor. The brief suggested as much. Politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Okay. Did you not get the briefing? Doc work us from the harbor. Uh, the briefing, yeah. Then mm -hmm. you should ask me the first moment we get. I need to stop lying to this guy. <laughs> Alright, back off and look, look at the cadaver course. hangs from the cargo belt. Limbs limp and torso covered in tattoos. Well, I will say it's worth just playing. This is also a game worth saving in fairly regularly. Saving, like physical saves. Quick save, okay. Are the, uh, are there, is there no checkpoints? I'm not sure how often it is it, uh, well, how likely it is I could die. Doesn't seem like there's major danger yet, but we are early doors. Uh, let's inspect his tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. Hundreds of fading asterisks. His corpse is marked by stars. What will mine be marked by? Alcohol <laughs> and heartbreak. Damn, cut me deep, Inland Empire. Your fist clenches suddenly. It will be marked. It will be riddled with disco. Decay is creeping on the tattoo. Already, most of the canvas that's holding it has darkened. Now, it disintegrates slowly, letting out a stink. Is this a map of the night sky? Doesn't look like it. A micro-electronic system, don't know what that is. A national pattern. I'll go with night sky. A map of the stars. I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Great century Messinian, maybe. But this the seems more two particular. In a while. Good, good, good. Customized somehow. There are just amusing places to die. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I guess what you could metagame it and just uh, quick save before a roll. I love all the psyche, psyche skills. Yeah, that's that. That was what I was drawn to. I, I, I could have created a character, but um. The, the, the description of the one I chose left sounded really good. The night sky, sounded too tempting. Filtering it through personal choice. The principle of this filter remains unknown to you. The thought dissipates, and you feel as though you were only half right. I'm missing something here. <laughs> a sudden ringing fills the air as the lieutenant pulls down the zipper of his orange jacket. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. What's that? A true get sunshine. Mini. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. He produces two metal capped ampoules and clicks them into place on the side of the apparatus. A thin slot shines there. This is the first time he openly acknowledges the kid's existence. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. Points a camera at the corpse, peering into it. The lens needs adjusting. A sound, a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, rolling out. In case we need it. The lieutenant says and shakes the paper, letting it dry in the cold wind. On it, a colour-perfect copy of the dead man's tattooed chest. Cool machine. Yes. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Why do we need this photo It contains for? insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Can I have it? I should look at it later without the corpse smell. Yeah, that might, might be useful. Sure. Just don't lose it. Hands you the piece of rolled up photo paper. The glassy eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper. 
teeming with opportunistic organisms. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate Tutorial this agent. item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look him in the eyes. His eyes are milky Some white the skill and blind to the world. Are just poetry. Yeah, protruding I, comically from their sockets. I feel a. There I don't no want to talk home, over this. Just subaquatic terrors there. And also, I feel like I'm having to pick an answer. And sad, I'm not picking. You know, there are too many Dark brown options. Hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Underneath the curdled meat there is an expression. Not carried on his features, but below, inside. An expression of pleasure. This man was experiencing joy at the moment of his death. Yes, okay, so this is my best skill. So high 92 means I basically, well, obviously it means I'm going to fail. I'm going to pass it unless I get like a double one. Tell me, who are you, dead man? I'm gone. Am I talking to, am I talking to it? Where have you gone? Into the wild pile yonder. In the past. Way out in the west. What is happening? What do you mean? I'm talking to you. It's the power of your... Black frothy liquid starts bubbling on his lips. Imagination. Yeah, man! This is wild. You'll be crazy! Inanimate <laughs> objects and dead people can't really talk to you. Your wild imagination is doing this. Ask some more of those questions you love so much. <laughs> he loves I'm literally those. a crazy person. Why were you feeling pleasure when you died? Oh, I should ask who he is, really. I'm a joke. Look at me. You are now, but who were you when you were alive? A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. Takes one to no one. Uh-oh. The guy who wrote most of this game also has a book in Estonian, which I read. The man is incredible at writing. Oh, wow. Awesome. So is he from Estonia originally? The the writer or the creator? Or... The book predates the game, but it's set in the same universe. Oh, sick. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be great if there is a translation in English. Unfortunately, I think that uh, sometimes the book translations don't hold up so well. Like, I know for The Witcher, because uh, obviously the, the author original author is Polish, like, apparently the... Well, I've read a bit of it, but the English translation just isn't quite there. It's still good in English, but from what I've heard from other people, they're like, it doesn't translate that well. Go ahead, Obo. Uh Why were you feeling pleasure when you died? Maybe I was getting my rocks off. Like auto-asphyxiation? So you were feeling sexual arousal when they were hanging you. Do I look like an erotic auto-asphyxiation type to you? Yeah. Captain Copadromo, I fear we are drifting away, fixating on sexuality again. Let's go with a simpler question. Okay. Why do I love questions so much? Because you're a coparoonie. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Give, give me a comical amount of questions. Coming right up. <laughs> Copper Rooney Rooney. This is getting <laughs> up now. Who killed you? Love did me in Brother Copo. <laughs> it was love all along. Is my name Rooney? Fuck no. You're no Rooney. Of course not. The name is Raphael Ambrosius Costo. Listen to yourself. You're not a Raphael anything. You're probably just Harry or something. Ah. That's right. Harry. That's, that's the second time someone's used Harry. So maybe that is my real name. Most of the core team is Estonian. Oh, right. That's sick. Translating is an incredible skill. There is no translation, but it's been promised for a few years now. Could I really be Harry? 
You can be anything you want. Brava, Corpo. The way the game popped off, demands have gotten bigger. Yeah, quite possibly. I hope so. What, I think this is 2019, right? But yeah, it's one of those where like I've literally heard nothing but good things. Why do I feel like I've forgotten something terrible? Because you have. Good. Can you ask me a question? Sure, Lobo. I can ask you a question. Why are you doing this? Hmm? Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into my eyes, standing here. Why are you investigating my murder? Because he told me to. You're a lying sack of shit, Coppo. You're doing this because there is nothing else to do. Everything else is over. It's mm. just me now. Is there a reason I drag myself to death over the past three days, I wonder? Uh, I hate you, you stink and you're boring. Do I remind you of someone? Hate <laughs> myself in the bathroom mirror, yeah. Not, not far off. There you go. Look at that bright kid. We're birds of a feather, you and I. Soon you'll be just like me. Just keep drinking and having a good time. It's a matter of weeks. The game recently pushed the original core team out of the company. Oh, sorry, the investors pushed them out. There's a huge legal dispute over the IP in Estonia. Oh man, that sucks. Feeling nausea. Especially if there vomiting, was some kind of tenderness or pain around the liver area. I gotta be quiet when Tiny this red swollen. lines on the skin above waist level. More like days, Coppo. The clock is ticking. Your liver tells you so. Oh god, I'm dying. I'm literally drinking myself to death. Um, yeah, especially if this is like, again, like you were saying, Shelby, if because the, the game's done so well, if there was any kind of scope for a sequel or another game set in the same universe, that's a real shame if they can't get the, uh, the IP shit figured out. Come back later, Corpo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. If possible. Memento Mori. Also. See Memento Mori 10. Your dreams. Uh. That wasn't that wasn't written there. That confused me a little bit. Anyway, let's look at his boots. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Delicate and fragile, they feel alien to the world around you. Out of place somehow. What kind of boots are these? They are armor, no boots. Technically speaking, and no boots. these are sabatons. Okay then, what kind of armor is it? Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Where? Under the hill. Fair weather. Fair weather model T five hundred V E. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. It's good knowledge, mate. Uh <laughs> pull the boot off. It's so tempting to just do the, the most like brash option. What happened to the rest of it? The locals probably scavenged it. Ah, okay. It would be odd if so he had more so he was fully hanged in the armor? We should keep a look up for these pieces. Okay, okay. The armor could yield information. Maybe he'll know something. Oh, mate, uh, don't worry about info dumping at all, KK. It's super, inf it's super interesting. The more you know and tell us, the more we all know. And it adds to the, uh, adds to the playthrough. So, yeah, by all means. If you wear those pieces, it will help me protect your mortal coil. Oh, I can't wear the dead guy's armor. Why does my mortal coil need protecting? Yes, bullets will fly. They always do. And the coil is fleshy and mush and permeable. Cast it in ceramic shell. Resist death. Maybe he was just wearing these boots and there is no rest of the armor. No, he must have worn something precious. I can't go around clothes. wearing full on armor. I also kind of like my, my look at the moment. I like my flares. I want to wear these. Look at these. These look ridiculous. What if they told him to strip before they hung him, to demean him? They usually hang them completely naked for that. La puta madre, the Mazda, 
the besmer tees and the like. This one still has his underpants. Lucky for him. <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. Shut up, Kuno. Uh, knock on the boot. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. Wear it. <laughs> look at them. I look like a. They look like stormtrooper boots. Suddenly, your which usually would be appealing, up. but I'll just look so ridicu ridiculous. Oh, we're punching it, all right. Your fist connects to the boot with the same ding. All right. It's the sound does fight. not appear to get louder. I punched a door. I'll punch a boot. Don't think I Did won't. You hear that? A click. Yes, like a dice rolling. This is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads the incoming energy horizontally from plate to plate. When the plates connect, there's a click. That's the sound you heard. See these lines? Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether. It's, we have kindred spirits in over researching stuff. Yeah, I mean that's literally what we're all here for. Well, that's what this channel is Light about. Scales so of some ancient you're in good company. Monster, cracked and pearly. Okay. We we'll pull it off. We don't have to wear it. We just can pull it off. This feels dangerous. Are you sure? Uh, I keep forget. Inland Empire is your hunches, right? Uh, I'm here now. Chat's telling me to pull it off. What am I going to do? The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking sound oh, God. comes from above. Is he going to fall? Stop! Pig's going to pull his head off. Oh, no. <laughs> Brito! Oh, this is a bad idea, isn't it? You're going to pull his head off. Do it, homo! I'm not a homo. <laughs> Stop obsessing about your sexuality, <laughs> officer. You are about to seriously All right, I'm sorry. compromise the coroner's case. Okay. <laughs> what are you trying to achieve, anyway? Why are you hanging on to that boot? They wouldn't go well with my bell button pants. This is advanced enemy technology. We should conduct research into their weaknesses. Are we not detectives? There may be clues. Uh, some lucre. Not quite the right pronunciation. I sorry, I didn't even want to take them off. I thought I should just try. That's actually my gen genuine opinion. Try what exactly? Dish. I have no idea why. I just do things. There is no underlying reason. I don't think we should do anything just for the hell of it. Okay. Besides... <laughs> Different clothes give you boost for skill checks. Pull it off. <laughs> he is chaotic. He was like that when we played D&D, so I'm, I'm used to it. I'm kind of falling into that pattern at the moment, because it just no seems like it's getting very off. rewarding. All the organic matter in his body has been flowing down into the boots. They are fused to his Gross. feet now. Why do you think the locals haven't scavenged them yet? So you're saying chop his legs off. There might still be a way to peel them off, but first, the body needs to be down. And second, it would probably be better if the lieutenant wasn't around. <laughs> How badly do we want these boots, chat? Steal a dead man's boots? But that would be dishonorable. You can also just not wear them. Yeah, yeah. I was tempted to do that in my underwear. Solve the, solve the crime. Or just leave the apartment in my underwear, but... Uh, I'll accept it. We don't have to do it, I guess. The anticipation makes you crack your fingers. <laughs> Feels nice. Nice and cracky. <laughs> so, uh, what's going to happen to the boots then? Processing will take care of them. With the situation in the morgue, it will yield nothing. But we must pick our fight. Should we continue? Okay, uh... Right. Oh, let's let's look the at getting it down. Slowly twists on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might Sounds miss like some it. of these things once he's done. Okay. The cadaver slowly twists as you narrow your eyes. The monster before you blurs into a violent mess. Of green and pink only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue mm -hmm. his fatted hands thighs and his neck just above the noose 
The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. I relax my eyes. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos Should I have kept and squinting? extremities blotched pink and blue. Let me just try that again. As you narrow your only the lower... How should I know why you are squinting, officer? Squint harder. His face and hands are pink, thighs too, the rest is greenish. Oh. You are trying to assess lividity. Am I? The monster comes back into focus. An explosion of colour coursing with dark marble Still veins. Still later when no one's around. His stomach appears pregnant. We've got, we've got the something. task, so it's an Black option now. Black liquid streams down his thigh Ludwig. and onto his boot. How's it going, mate? Why are you immediately in with the sad face? Hope you're all good. Hope your Christmas and New Year was fantastic. So, what do you think? Um, I think he's dead. I agree. <laughs> there are crow's feet in his eyes. He's laughing silently. Totally dead. <laughs> his buster's not coming back. No siree. Yeah, good banter, Kim. Good banter. Uh, what do you think? I think he was upright immediately after death. Blood has gathered in his hands and feet. And his neck. I think he was upright immediately after death, as in he's been hanged, or he's been put there afterwards. The noose acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis he here is in tune with the hanging. That's what You're playing think. the goat, and this makes me happy. Mate, I'm loving it so far. It's way, like, f uh, funnier than I thought. Like, not obviously, like, gags, but just the, the, uh, the tone of everyone so far is really jokes. And the like the the dialogue itself, the decisions you can make are amazing. Uh, could it be that he was moved after death? There's always a chance. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. Okay. Something is coming out of him. The pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping into it, drop by drop. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. Kim clearly knows his stuff. The fuck are you saying? It's helpful. Oh, talking about shit. Of that? Why is this? Oh, I think I. All oh, right. So this is a particular slur. Whereas you can curse. Um. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, but I'll just select it. Malicious laughter erupts in the yard. Sounds like seagulls. <laughs> Big head, he's a f <laughs> The lieutenant's face is made of stone. He's beaten up. See the bruises? I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little spot. Ah, oh, right, yeah, because they were throwing rocks at him. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. The fuck does Kuno care? Yeah, I went brummy there. I think he's supposed to be kind of scouse, but as Cam said, it's a little all, all over the place. If you don't steal the boots, you'll regret it. Kim Kitsuragi is far too good for us. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe. Which means I should probably like be his mate, but it's so hard to re resist the, uh, you know. But. There is no breath. The rogue to catch. picks. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He slowly rotates before you, decomposing. Okay. I, I think we've checked all there is. Mm. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting it. <laughs> Maybe we can shoot him down. <laughs> yeah! Bang bang time pig! Shoot his head off! How? I don't know. Does she know shoot up there maybe? Up there? Yes. The buckle. Where it ties the cargo belt to the tree. Oh right, he's taking if it the on shot board. Hits that, I am a, I am a police officer. To release the belt. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain a cooler with some shit. No miss! The P 
pigs will miss Kuno. The lieutenant is undecided. Gotta get a gun On one first. Hand, he wants to shoot some gun. <laughs> On the other, it's an awfully <laughs> stupid idea. Oh, do I already have a gun? Uh, what's the worst thing that could actually happen? Oh, let me try. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He appears too deep in concentration to even notice what you said. All right, I'll let him choose. He probably won't, though. I'll let him choose. Silence. With his elbow Yes, shot, Kim. The lieutenant unzips Let's his go. jacket and produces a light yes. firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel, separates the scouring stick, and gives the cartridge five tucks. You got this, boy. He then steps back and assumes the fellow's stess position, taking aim. The I'm corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. He's gonna fucking miss! The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast oh, that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself... Oh, stat check ludes? Yeah, ma'am. Oh, hold on. God damn it. He feels bad about it. About his eyes, mostly. Just having bad eyesight. Probably from a young age. Whatever you do, do not console him. Why do I want to go against my, like, internal thoughts so much? So, Ludes, I went with the, uh, the mentally unstable, uh, like, base character. Or, uh, you know... Oh, I can... Oh, can I level up? I can. I was sick. Oh, shit, I leveled that one up again. Whoops. Okay, I can do that. Can you do that any time with no cost? That's awesome. Um, so yeah, my psyche is pretty damn good. My intellect, my chance at like getting out of uh, situations, like the usual dialogue option, I guess that would be. You know, in, in something like a Fallout, like your charisma and that is actually really low for me. Um, any suggestions, you guys? I kind of want to be cool. This sounds like it would be cool. Stun them with immense panac. Oh no, maybe not cool, just like sneaky. But this one has been coming up with pretty interesting, like, hilarious options. Electrochemistry has been coming up with uh, good stuff, but that's already a five. Inland Empire 7 is going to cause you some fun times. Drama? Say up the drama. Play the actor. Yeah, I lie and detect lies would be super useful. And lying is, you know, lying might come in pretty handy, I think. If we want to, like, crush Kim and just, you know, like, really grind him until he's got no hope left, we should lie to him at all possible times. The most based signature skill. You don't have to spend it right away. I'm gonna, I'll am i go with drama, yeah. But it seems like we can revert all skill... Or I guess that's just... Is that just for one? Or is that literally any spent skill points? Because if you can do that for free, that's kind of OP. I mean, usually they you can do this in a lot of games, but usually it costs some kind of other currency or something. <laughs> so Kim. I think it's best to hold off spending points until you fail a white check. All right. Well, we'll stick with it for now. It's, I, I imagine you go up the first few levels quite quickly. We have already failed a white check, I think. I also don't want to meta game too much if I fail checks. But we'll we'll see what comes up over over time. Fucking idiot! Look about asshole. Or chaos spend them as soon as you get them. That's what that's kind of the vibe I want. Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno is not fucking handicapped, is he? Oh Jesus! All right. Try again, maybe. He said, "Don't console him." My empathy is pretty high. Uh, try again. Oh, we are lucky as it is. We didn't break anything, and the victim remains uncompromised. Any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. Okay. We have eyes on us. I didn't do us any favors with that. What now? We can come back to, to say, that, I guess. It's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. Yeah, well, we could ask for help from the harbor. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appear to be suspect. Okay, fair case. enough. That makes sense. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. He's a... He has... I'm glad Kim is here, because... Confirmed. It's unsafe. Like, there's there's chaotic, 
and then there's, you know, <laughs> just being completely irresponsible and in incapable of anything. No game has ever made failure so entertaining. I just go with what skills you think will make the playthrough the most fun rather than meta game. Yeah, I mean it's like D and D, right? Like you, 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 you role play your skills rather than, well, well, as an option, you can role play your skills rather than just do whatever is going to actually help you win the game. Because, like we've been saying, I don't think you. It's like not a win so much. It's not a game you win. You just experience it. Uh, but what else can we do? No, okay, yeah, let's reconsider. But what other options? The corpse twists on the belt like chicken on a skewer. I can try to shoot him down myself. It's bad as it is, us shooting firearms like punks here. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. Just don't hit the victim. I'm gonna need your gun for this. They only have one gun! Shut up! Oops. This is the sorriest pair of pigs Kuno's ever seen. Officer, why do we only have one gun? Carefully loading his pistolet. Remember when I told you I didn't have my badge or uniform with me when I woke up? I didn't have my gun either, except I lied to him about that. Uh, I think someone has stolen it from me. Stolen my gun. Gun is stolen. Extremely unfortunate. You need to contact your station about it as soon as possible. Try not to lose this one, please. You got it. We're not off to a good start. This missing gun business is making your hand tremble. Uh, sorry, I got it. Actually... Hand-eye coordination is a two, so this is unlikely to go well. Yeah, take it, you fucking banani poinka. Take it and shit yourself in the mouth. <laughs> Jesus. Feel the weight first. The cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal is surprisingly light. Your fingers fit right through the guard, instinctively resting on the trigger. The fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? Tell him to shit himself in the mouth. I'm going to fire it at them if they're not careful. Kuno is silent. Aggression gathers in the air. The trigger feels delicate and ready to break under your finger. The buckle comes into focus in your sights. This is going to be you a really difficult role, you guys. with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting your gun arm. I just never wanted to disappoint Kim. I get it. You're empathetic. My empathy is high, but I'm tending to go against it so far. I'm wearing the necktie. Yes, this is true. You do, in theory, need to solve the crime, but there are ways to get there. Is oh so so? Could you have not gotten the tie? I guess you could, because we picked it off the off the ceiling fan. Uh, we do have a name. Someone's gonna have to remind me what it is. Yeah, it's Raphael. But maybe our name is Harry. Is Why what I'm thinking. You just shoot yourself in your f mouth. Seventeen percent. I I'm pointing at her. She's pissing me off. Oh, God. <laughs> you feel as though it would be dangerous to set this creature free to roam about the cosmos. Don't. You feel the lieutenant's hand on your shoulder. Do it! She's ripping her blazer open to her bare chest. <laughs> well, I mean, it's good that it's low because I don't actually want to shoot her. Fuck you, little shit. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Intense shit, copper. Fuck it waved his gun. It wasn't intense, it was pathetic. Uh, okay, here we go, baby. 8% responded to pro oh, responded to pro uh, provocation has made me less likely to get it. What if I close my left eye? Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves becoming entirely two-dimensional. The metal buckle glimmers. Slick you can take off the tie. The ah, the tie is giving me great enjoyment. So. Rotates. <laughs> Excuse me, it's Rafael Ambrosius Costo. I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that eventually. Harry is certainly a name. Christoph <laughs> McGullicutty would be welcomed. I, I know, I wish we could have actually chosen a name that was sick, but we failed the role. Okay. Wait. Your breathing we got slows this. down. We're gonna Some need mosquito -like a cent, probably an eleven or a twelve roll. Look, he's crying. You gonna cry now, fucking faggoty? 
17 percent probably need a, at least a 10 it's oh it's plus one minus one all right here we go oh god i shot him <laughs> a plume of smoke erupts from the barrel your hand goes numb from the explosion. I was so far off. Was I ring, aiming for this thing or this one? See what happened. I think I shot him in the face, uh, in the in the stomach. You missed the belt, but hit the corpse straight in the chest. <laughs> Whoops! Bits of ribcage protrude from the skin. No blood, only a murky sludge dripping down his belly. My bad. The sudden stink makes your eyes water. Oh my God! He's gonna. Oh, my morale's down. Okay. Are you? Because it sort of feels like you are. Please don't cry. There's <laughs> something wrong with your weapon. Start crying. I'm sensitive. No, no, no. Not, not in front of the detective. Uh. Okay. We tried we something won't do that else. Again. Oh my god, what a fucking boring cop. It's very hard not to shoot both of the children. Yeah, they are bothering me quite a bit. <laughs> nice shot, though. Fucked him off good. Actually, it was... Could have just said that because he felt sorry for your pig. It's not your fault you can't shoot. <laughs> it's your pig hands. Uh, pigs don't have hands. They have, like, fucking hooves or Sad cop, sad cop, sad cop. Oh, you wanted me to cry. Kuno has hands. Kuno can shoot that shit down for you. Uh, no, I'm not letting you do it. We shouldn't trust Kuna with your service weapon. <laughs> That's preposterous. That's preposterous. What are you, a fucking owl? We still need Maybe. to get him down somehow. His, gr his tone is growing tired now. The stench makes him turn away from the corpse. But how? The bad way. The way I didn't want us to. Oh, shit. <sighs> By asking the harbour for help. They have the tools and the men. If they put him up there... They can take him down too. Well, let's get to it then. All right. Oh, okay. There's an auto save. Yeah. So quite a lot of time. I, I guess right. So there's quite. There was quite a lot of rolls that I potentially wanted would would have missed or had to do again if that hadn't have saved. You were a sorry cop. I was a cop of the apocalypse. Maybe a, yeah. Maybe crying will get my morale back up. Victims, tattoos, ask around about tattoos, possible meaning. What did that say? Ask Kim to tell you about the case. Get the rest of the armor. Ask Kuno what he knows. Getting his boots and getting the body down. And also, um, Lieutenant said that you can use the radio in his car to call the station. But I guess that's more of a secondary option right now. What do you, what do you think, Kimmy? Yes. Um, I think you should know I can't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow. I really don't remember anything. There was drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There is a sudden, harsh edge to his voice. Like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. But I'm completely lacking in basic information about even this organization that we're in. Can you help me? Fine. We should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. Okay, cool, cool. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. Okay. Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is a relief. Your heart beats twice like a fist. The serotonin deficiency makes your teeth clench. <laughs> Thank you, oh wise man. The lieutenant blinks, his mouth slightly open. And his body motionless. A microsecond passes. Excuse me, I was lecturing you. I shouldn't have. You should consult a medical professional if you feel that you need help. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's lazareth. I'm trying to remember all of the cop types. Sorry, cop, boring cop, art cop, cop of the apocalypse. Apoc uh, apocalypse? Superstar Cup. This habit of dispensing wisdom has been brought to his attention before. He will not think less of you for lashing out. He is trying to curb it. A moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. Tell me about the case. What do you want to know? 
literally anything about it. Ah, uh, yes. The case brief you missed. Now I remember. Brief sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling and rags hostel cafeteria. The mm -hmm. cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. Oh yeah, hobo cop, that's me. Okay, so that's what you mean by the, the copper types. Art cop. Cop of the apocalypse does sound like the best one. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. How did how do the I get those ones? Do they, I guess they just produce the up. word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Does the briefing say who the victim was? A security was? guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Why didn't we know anything about the caller? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM <coughs> in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. <laughs> Let me just make this perfectly clear. Our job is to find the killer. That's right. Ten experience points. Let's go. Would you say this is a mysterious case? No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. Why not? The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. <laughs> Personally, I think labor disputes are very mysterious. So, so, the, so the case probably isn't mysterious, but could it be sexy? There was some interest in this case at my station, but not for the reasons you have in mind. You seem to wish there was a... Cut this boring stuff off immediately. You know what this case is about. <laughs> Maybe there's a young woman involved. Yes, it just so happens there's a beautiful, blonde, 19-year-old woman at the heart of this case. A rich one, in fact. Part of a murder sex cult. <laughs> That's mega sexy. No, not really. Oh. Was there anything else? He's basically challenging you to sex it up with some lurid twist. Don't get right into it. Okay. Sit on it a bit. Then hit him with it. Got you. Okay, uh, we went over the pre pre preliminary info, right? That was just him talking about the uh, the RCM. Let's just double check. You mean like a brief? No, no, Do no. you want me to brief you? There's no reason to wing anything. If you didn't get the brief, that's okay. I did. Essentially, you do enough stuff in one direction and you get the option to integrate the type. Cool. Oh, do we, how is that coming along... Hobo cop. It said it took four hours. Is that in game? Two hours thirty nine. Yeah, it could be. I mean, sorry, not in game. Like in real life. Three days ago, the RCM emergency. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had. During we had that. that time, we had that. The Vic Mega okay, cool. I've had enough. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Uh, if we're from different precincts, why are we on the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a. A pissing competition. His disdain is clear. This man would not use such an expression otherwise. What do you mean? You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. I don't remember being in on anything. That's good. Tell me about it. What's there to say? It's just stupidity. What kind of stupidity? The cop kind. Our precincts can't decide if Martinez is part of Jamrock or the Industrial Harbor. Yours or mine, as if we somehow own parts of the city. Typical street gang mentality. So we've let the Union make a mockery of law enforcement here. And now it's come to its natural conclusion. Ah, so this is a struggle over who runs Martinez? Well, sort of. 
It's less a matter of who gets to police Martinez than who has to. It's an orphan district, in other words. Okay. I think the dispatch desk just told both our stations about the hanging. There was quite a brouhaha at the 57th, I can tell brouhaha. you that. Time to settle it, they said. Cop off. But I assure you, I am not their finest or toughest with 102 cases solved. What I am is least interested in a pissing competition. Okay, good. You ain't pull so any funny business. So, volunteer to represent the 57th, but not out of competitiveness. On the contrary. I wonder what this says about me, that I was sent by my station. Hmm. He raises an eyebrow, thinking it best to let you make the next move. There can be only one conclusion. I have the finest we have. A hero cop sent to outperform you in every way imaginable. I must be an ordinary and an apocalyptic omen sent by my people. See, I'm starting to see the uh, the copper types here. Don't be scared, but I think I might have supernatural abilities. I probably have an unbelievable kill count. Uh, I think I might have supernatural abilities. I did speak to the dead guy, so... He opens one hand and looks at it. A moment passes. Obviously, this case is terribly mysterious and totally sexy, Kim. Which school do you subscribe to? Mambo? Number five? Or Jambo? <laughs> Which is the one where you hear your tie talk to you? Mambo is I have a vivid interior, I see and feel things. Or Jambo, I get these strange shivers from being hung over. Just before, a chill whisked down my back. I think I might have both Mambo and Jambo. I imagine strange things and get cold chills too. I think that's me at the moment. Right? Have I had strange chills? Spill the fucking beans, Kim. Every line of dialogue advances time by four minutes. Okay. And, and so this is in-game then. 1052. Uh, I think I've got Mambo and Jambo, guys. I've got a bad case of the Mambo Jambos. I didn't know that was even possible. It must be a great burden. Oh, 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 it is. It is both a burden and a gift. It's good to have uh, an ambidextrous paradetective <laughs> in a labor dispute. I can see why they sent you. Should we go? Uh, yeah, enough of the competition. Tell me something else. Yes, it's a wholly pointless matter. Oh, 40 seconds, Forget not four minutes, gotcha. You definitely are psychic. Yeah, I got I got a feeling. I spoke to a guy, my tie's talking to me, you know. Uh, logic, formidable, 13. Why did the 41st cent? Okay, that's looking good. Convince Kim there's a sexy dark mystery dressed in the case. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Come on, Kim. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. There's something weird going on in the case. It's, it's, it's weird, but it's kind of sexy, you know? It's only banal things strike Fuck. At the core, Damn it. you're a very banal person. What was I rolling at, like a four? Soul. Ah, man, I'm gutted about that. One you should be ashamed of. I damaged my it's morale no again. the soft one doesn't want it back. It was right to abandon you. Okay, so is this what you were talking about, Lude? So, so put skill points into Inland Empire to open the white check again. I don't got it, Shelby. You did say I was due a, uh, I was due a failure. So, damn. But it is sexy, Kim. I'm telling you, bro. It's, it's a sexy dark mystery twisty case. Uh, can I put? So, I don't have a level up. Okay, now it's gone. So I guess you only have the option to revert one when you've done it. Once it's locked in, it's done. Okay, never mind. We made our decision. I'll get it next time. Yeah, KK. Okay, okay. We'll keep trying. Listen, man. We might have we, we might have loads of mambos and jambos, but I know a sexy case when I see one. Uh that's a super low check. So is it gonna damage my morale every time I fail one or not? Alright. Let's go talk to uh to Kuno. No bastard. So you tried to kill Kuno's girl? Life imitates What's art, What's up eh? with that? You want to talk about it? Uh, I didn't try to shoot. I just aimed at her. What? Bitch! You fucking...
can make an excuse I'm not taking shit now. from this kid, I'm telling you that right now. I will hit him if it comes mm. to it. An imperceptible nod. Uh, I think we've all moved past that by now, Kuno. Not all of us. Act like that. Stick with you for a while. Ooh, did he not? He didn't appreciate it. No one's moving anywhere. Do this shit again, and Kuno's gonna climb in your room at night with a knife. He points towards the whirling in rags and whispers. Kuno knows where you sleep. The pig who fucked his window up. I'm gonna climb in through that balcony. Put the fucking knife in you. Yeah. I've been in your room. Well, joke's on you, mate. I'm a hobo cop, so I'm not going to be in that room after today. But you and Kuno are good for now. Pals, shoot that shit at Kuno. Let's have a jolly time. Okay. And you're back in business with the Kuno. Now what is it? Do not meddle with the primal forces of nature. Kuno is a merciful king. <laughs> kind to his wayward subjects. What is authority? Intimidate the public. Okay, so I so I do have a good option, a, a good chance of uh, of intimidating this kid. So, as in authority, being using my authority as a cop to intimidate them. Um. Oh, figure out what's going on with this kid. I'm, I'm guessing the morale taking a hit is to stop you just just uh, spamming stat rolls. 28%'s not great, but we did just fail like a it was a 56, I suppose. It wasn't that big. Should we go for it? Let's just let's go for it. Empathy is a five, so it's a difficult role. It's not Kuno. Let's go. It's Kuno S. Ah. Uh, interesting, how? Kuno S is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you. Damn, good but spot. the other hides behind the fence. In herself. Afraid for her life. Like she's done. Something, something very. Where bad. was that role when we needed to convince Kim about the sexy case? He, I want to turn it sexy. You know, it's just about willpower, really. All in all, Kuno respects madness. You cannot hope to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes with him alone. Okay. Kuno, pst. Fuck you, whispering about. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Fuck you, f whispering about. If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna Ooh, fucking gonna whisper. Drive him okay. apart. Let whisper pig. This is it. You've got him. But you can careful. still fuck this up. Yeah, no. You can still no fuck doubt. this up. He's there and eat Kuno Kuno's soul option. Give it time. God damn! I still love the art for the different skills after all this time. Uh, what, sorry, uh, don't make Kuno look bad in this. Okay, listen, Kuno, she's trying to control you. We got to get you out of here. Don't, but we don't want to make Kuno look bad. Phew, I'm glad she's out of our care. She's fucked up. What's up with her? She's terrifying, crazy, scary. All right, let's not tell him to get out, like, immediately. Crazy? You don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane, dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in, probably even pigs. Stop talking to him! Kuno, I'm fucking warning you! You're gonna get us into shit! She understands what you're trying to do. Hmm. Yo, see! Did Kuno not tell ya? Kuno told ya! Kuno talks to whoever he wants! Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. He hunches down again. You did it. They're separated. <clears throat> He's even turned his back okay. to her, so she can't read his lips. Okay, okay, okay. What do you mean she smoked someone? You think she has anything to do with the dead man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she would have liked to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. Where were you? Look, Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. He speaks the truth, my liege. Oh, okay, there's drama coming in clutch. Noise. Okay, so he didn't kill... So ne neither neither of them did it. Okay, good, 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 good. So let's talk about that language she's using. Or is she your sister? Fuck no, she's not my sister. She's just a stray who got in. Like a mad dog or some shit. A stray? Yeah, she was just there. He points at the apartment building behind the fence. 
the little one twists her neck looking at the building. She was in the hallway, dripping wet, by the fucking shoe rack, in the dark. Why was she dripping wet? Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she pissed on the floor too. She was there for three days <laughs> in the whipped. corner. Every time Kuno went out. You said she got in? How? I don't know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home and she's sleeping under the desk, under a pile of clothes, like a dog. What about your parents? Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there. Or thinks it's fucking Kuno. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno. Kuno S. Two of a kind. Mm. So she is like, she was like a lost kid that their parents took in and called her Kuno S. <laughs> Imaginative. She's a hillsy demon. What is this language she's using? Yeah. Fuck knows. She says it's the song of her people or some shit. What people? Crazy people. The fucking knackies. I don't know. Some things are too awful to dwell on. The Nakis and Runkaris might be some kind of defense mechanism. Empathy is coming in clutch for me at the moment, man. Um, why is she called Kuno S then? Because she fucking looks like Kuno. <laughs> you don't know her name? No one knows her name. Kuno calls her C. And you said she's insane? Yeah, she's psycho. None of that kiddie psycho. Cap and shit. She does the real deal. What's the real deal? Snuff radio shit. Believe me, pig, you don't want to know. Snuff radio shit. Okay, she smoked someone. Kuno means she killed someone. That's right, she's a killer. Like, actually a killer. What if she has Kuno? That would explain things. It wouldn't, well, we know it's she, she didn't kill them, though. Not the not the body on the tree anyway. Killing is serious shit. Kuno's always serious about the four eighty eight. She's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. Okay. How many cops has she killed then? Forget Kuno said that. Kuno was just shitting. Mm, Kuno was just running I don't his know. mouth. Kuno's stupid like that. He feels eyes on the back of his head and stops. The creature peers at you both. The creature over the fence. A bit harsh. There is something searching in her eyes. Fear. Oh. Half light is, uh, what is that again? Intimidation. Threaten people. <laughs> right, I'm eating his soul right now. That's uh, finish. Okay. Okay. Uh, How's well, I guess Kuno we gotta go talk to Kuno S. Kuno's some point. dealing with it just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with this, waving your gun, mad dog shit. Kuno remembers what you did there. Kuno's got this shit under control. Uh, you need backup. I'm here for you. Listen, listen. She is Kuno's go-to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with she. You fuck with Kuno. You threaten her. You wave your gun around her one more time. Try to take it away. This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. I, I'm going to kill you. I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later, and fuck you up. Do you understand? The boy looks you in the eye, black pupils trying to focus. He may not be able to do it, <laughs> but he will try. Right now, he believes he will. Understood, Kuno. All right. Now we can do business. He's breathing heavily. That took something out of him. Business? Yeah. Is what my adjourance want? good? Kuno can hook you up with. Uh, he starts no longer whispering. I don't look him up with shit, Kuno. See, relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, you get all kinds of shit. Kuno's gonna get you hooked on illegal narcotics <laughs> if you run a little oh, errands sick. for the Kuno. Get you hooked, pig. Get his hook in you. Then Kuno gonna get you hooking for more. Cash in big style. Pig cooker. And shit, he can even fuck back in Kuno's kingdom. That fucking pile of eaterite. It's a secret door, okay? Just pull it off and you can fuck into Kuno's shack. That would escalate massively. Uh, okay. 
What was that about running you an errand and illegal narcotics? Kuno gets it from his dad. Mm, speed. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. That's okay. where Kuno gets his lightning on. Was it a was it a goal to get drugs or just smokes? Okay, I think I think uh, I'm only craving cigarettes according to my psyche. Problem but, is, you know, Kuno and his dad had a little falling out. Now junkies clawing at Kuno's door. Streets going mad. Kuno's got to throw his dirty popo okay, man at him. Okay, okay. Dirty popo man is you. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Kuno's dad does steroids and speed. If you can take him, you can have half of the speed. Who is your dad? Kuno's dad is a fucking monster. He's the most violent man in Revishow. He doesn't give a shit about a single thing. He drinks too. How much material are we talking about here? Like half. Half of what? A baggie, but like in this vial. Uh, I've made up my mind, Kuno, and this is what's going to happen. Okay. Kuno's listening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going in there all guns blazing to get that speed because I need it. I'm going in there, but not for the speed. I'm going after the most violent man in Revacol. I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc, Kuno. I'm going to confiscate that crap. I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc. I'm going to confiscate it. Lie. You need speed. Sure. Confiscate it for Kuno. And I mean, you if you can ask electrochemistry, you already know what answer you're going to get. This poor kid. Okay. So sure, half Kuno. of a half is a quarter, right? We're probably talking about a quarter gram here. It's not enough. Kuno's violent dad's got Kuno's key. So you need to fuck your way in there, go to the pier side, bang on the door till the cleaning gimp lets you in. That's how Kuno does it. Go to the pier side and bang on the door until the cleaning gimp lets you in. Okay. Go to pier side. Then you go to room 12 and kick down the door. For Police speed. Violent style. That's Most well-adjusted child in Revenge. Time, you're locked in the room with violent... He's confident. Again. I'll give him that. With violent fuckhead. Is that his dad he's talking about? Go to room 12. That's it. Next time Kuno sees you, you better have his shit. Split a kilo with Kuno. <laughs> what the hell are you signing up for here? <laughs> I'm a bad addict cop and I'm going to get my fix. Right. Should I lie to Kim again? Oh, I don't want to lie to Kim, but it's also, I'm just like, that's my vibe right now. Come on, Kim. Obviously, I'm not going to take it. We need to get drugs away from a minor. Okay, then. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Just go right through this check This is where quickly. Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Is that ladder yours? No, it's not fucking Kuno's. It's ancient. Look at it. He thinks you're fucking full, Kuno. He says you climb the ladder up to your magic tree house. Get the fuck out of here, pig. The uh, stream Kuno doesn't have again, a magic right? no, okay, tree out. Uh, what's in the greenhouse over there? I don't there? know. Keep that gardener used to work there. I think it's it's kind of still fine as long as the uh, the dialogue is, is ticking over relatively quickly. I think maybe when it was stopping, I, I had uh, when it was stuttering, I just stopped to chat some shit, probably. Hold on. The gardener used to work there. Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno oh, can Kim take sees it. past some of my lies. Shit, nothing to Kuno. <laughs> you don't want to let Kim down. You will, but you don't want to. I'm no doubt that I will. No, I'm, look, I'm just like, I don't know him that well yet. He seems like a stand-up guy, but like I've got all my own shit going on. But I'm, I'm sure hopefully we will bond over the course of the game. And I'll come to respect him like a brother. You mean the young woman by whirling in rags, that gardener? Look, Kuro doesn't explain shit. Kuro just says shit. He looks you in the eyes and nods, as if agreeing with himself. I might have questions later. For now, let's talk about something else. Yeah, okay, I think, Kuro I think we're good. Shit. I think we're good. Kuro doesn't fucking care. All right, mate. Oh, what was that? Okay. So, the main thing... Kim, Kim's infinite wellspring of patience and kindness in the face of you is remarkable, yeah. 
I mean, he's there you don't get to choose your partners, I months. guess. Well, these guys have work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve peers have walked here. Visual calculus, medium eleven. Get an exact count, seventeen percent. This is a white check. You may retry it. It says. But then I couldn't retry the uh, the other one. What do you Shit. think you are? A super detective? My morale You're is pretty hungover. low. These are just dents in the mud. No pattern emerges for the time being. Okay, so this is what you guys are saying about saving up your points. So the only way I could try this again is if I improve my visual calculus skill. I see. That kind of does make sense. Because I'm sure we will get to points where we, it, it's kind of important. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Right, let me... Okay, let me check what we got here. Okay, we can interact with this. Interact... Use interact bit button in inventory to inspect the item. Okay, this. Kit, uh, Kitsuragi snapped this photo of the handbanks, tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of the hanged man. From the right shoulder, you can retry to it as soon as you get another point, and the check Each won't be going anywhere. The okay, lines cool, intersect. Cool. A small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. It still kind of looks like a map of the stars in the night sky. But something's not right. For you to discover, you've gotten as far as you will without assistance. Mm -hmm. Someone close to the victim might know. Okay. Someone close to the victim. Well, we're not going to know that yet. Gone. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow. We've already got a shitload of shitload of tasks. End of day debrief, he said, was at 9 o'clock. Oh, sorry, 10 o'clock. What time is it? 11 a.m. Report your badge missing. So I think if we can go to Kim's car, we can check off a couple of things. You also have the opportunity to add clothes and maybe some substances that support skills. Like speed, perhaps? That will help you pass checks and reopen them. Winners don't do drugs, but we are not winners. Far from winners. We're not winners, but we, we get stuff done. We're doers. You call the station Lazareth in order to sort out your health issues. You can use his motor carriage. I'm tempted to go to the motor carriage. Is there any way to uh, map? Okay. Visual calculus. What am I looking at here, you guys? Map information. Oh, acquire a copy of the city map. Kim has legendary inland empire. Is that his skills? These are found white checks. Those on white are available to try now. Okay, right, right. That's what you mean by they're not going anywhere. I gotcha. Okay. So I guess I'm just going to kind of... I, I, I'm not going to talk to her yet because she's bothering me. Let's wait until we split, um, get get drugs for uh, Kuno, and then we might be able to speak to Kuno S with a little more ease. If they have the same dad, I guess. I might just kind of go wandering around, unless he, you can tell me where your car is. Give yes. me. Right, so th this check is... Oh, okay, so we just need another point in Inland Empire, and we can convince Kim there's a sexy dark mystery twist in the case. Okay, I want to know where his car is, but we could just explore a little bit, right? Enjoy the wander about. Conversations move the time forward, see what you see, okay? Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. A young girl with chubby red cheeks waves at you, smiling. Her nose is red from the cold. Hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Mm, not really. <laughs> Denied. This is a bookstore, it seems like. Alright, let's do a little bit of wandering. 
the muted horns. So, uh, uh, d would normally the the game would just have uh, what's it like, uh, uh, just a full on soundtrack, like a rock band soundtrack going on in the background. Oh, I know, I recognise this. I have the, uh, I have the, I got the like uh, the special edition, so I got like the art book with it. It looks really cool. What's this? What is going on here? Protests? Bastards! We have a right to work! The man yells towards the harbor gates. His voice is the loudest of the lot, and oddly screechy for a man his size. What's going on here? Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. The broad-shouldered alpha male turns to you. He's a full head taller than everyone else here. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Uh, no. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! I wouldn't call the score rock. Aggressively evocative and atmospheric. Well, that sounds better than rock. Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. What kind of cause are we talking about? Rights of people. Rights of workers. To have gainful employment. To make a salary. And feed their families. I have some questions for you. Maybe you should ask them. Questions like why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame uh, the, on you! The dock work workers he's talking about, we I have guess. Families to feed you, piece of shit. He points his finger at the man sitting on the railing. So do we, Scab. Call me Manana. The loitering man hollers in return. I want to get into the harbor too. Have fun. <laughs> Union shits are on full strike. I don't think they're going to let you through the gates. I'm trying to meet their fat boss. Uh, this is an official matter not to be discussed with outsiders. Right to work! That's not gonna happen. This is not gonna go it's down well shameful. with him. Cops doing nothing. You should bring back up, open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. Open the gates for us. I mean, that would help. Why not? Why not? I see numerous reasons <laughs> not to be decided in this local. God, Kim hates me, doesn't he? Pity. Let us work! What exactly is your goal here? We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. Okay, so these are the dock workers? The ennui of the horns and the wistful whirling in rags theme create a generally beautiful but oppressive soundscape. Well said. I wish I could hear them. Oh, wait, I wish I could hear the, the rest of the soundtrack. OST was composed by British Sea Powder and are classified as alternative rock. Yeah, it's a very broad genre, isn't it? Rock itself is a broad genre. And alternative is also extremely broad. Uh, and you're unable to breach the Main entrance. Gates locked. It would take heavy ordnance to bust it open and try to get in through the secretary's office. Door is locked. The guard is okay. blocking the way to the access panel. And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer. Or whatever he is. Head measurer? Huge Seminese guy standing up there on the overhead passage. Won't let anyone by. The access panel is right behind him. How bad could one guy be? You seem capable. Bad. Standing on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategically advantageous position. And he's trained. I don't know how the Union has a trained killer up there. But that one's no joke. And my men are tired and hungry. They're workers, not fighters. <laughs> Have you considered storming in, like all of you? Why don't you go arrest them instead? I'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit. They have that. <laughs> Measure head is daddy. <laughs> it would be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now. If you can't get in anyway. No. They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. 
Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. Measure heads the guy at the top, they were saying. Alright. This guy. Scab? Asks a man with jolly eyes. What did he just call you? <laughs> a oh no, not this again. <laughs> you just got away from that fucking kid. <laughs> I'm not a scab, I'm a cop. What exactly is a scab? A kind of a worm. Content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Where did they all come from? It's me. Somewhere in the ground, I think. You don't seem to like them that much. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scan. Or I guess, scared maybe. But scared of what? Of who? <laughs> Not trying to fight Measurehead is the only sensible course of action. Doesn't sound Personally, like me. I'd rather beg than scam. If the gentleman is this, is the this street, measurehead? Begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. Uh, I'd rather beg than scab. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. It's better than begging. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. If these scabs ain't begging. They ain't holding on to their integrity. I'm guessing this is how we need to start a fight with them. All right. I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little confused at all this, so I'm gonna walk around. I, I'd like to get to. Uh, how do I get back down now? Uh, let me down. Can I just click to walk? There you go. Uh, I'd like to get to his uh, Kim's car, so I can. I think that will help me get a little bit more backstory on well my backstory. But I need to get a map first. These are just magazines. Oh, oh, Manana is a smooth dude. Oh, okay. Measure head someone else completely. Okay, whirling in rags is where we started. Ooh. What is that? That's just my invasive thoughts. How's the uh, how's this hobo cop coming along? One hour forty six. Ooh, is this his car? Wow, this is a cool looking thing. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery. I did pass Kim's car. 57. Man, these horns are doing something. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. What did we need to do? Just call call up about my badge. Report my badge missing. And I think there was something else I could do in the car. We'll just go through the uh, the, the things on the list, won't we? Pick up the, the radio. The tableau lights up and a green button labelled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Oh, Jesus. Is that how you're supposed to say, Lieutenant? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. <laughs> Come in, dispatch. Come in, dispatch. This Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? You could swear she was friendlier with the lieutenant. Um, I was... Yes, could I, could I connect me to the 41st Precinct? I have something I need to report. Just a second, officer. She puts you on hold, the static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. 10 to 10 five. This is 41st. Come in. Over. Jules Pidia. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle. Pido. Smoking. My with French a large isn't white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of Time him to be is supported a fully by your colleagues. With an array I sense of wires sarcasm. And antennas, the radio switchboard. Hi, this is uh, <clears throat> me here. I work at your station. 10 four. What's your status? Over. <laughs> It's not good. 
1018, 1020, over. Uh, please just talk human to me. These, these numbers mean nothing. State your message, sir. Over. I need to report my badge as missing. But you said... <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, sorry about that, Kim. 10-9, repeat message, over. My badge. I can't find it anywhere. Basically, it's gone. Ten four message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to ten twenty two the captain. Over. Ten twenty two the captain. This sounds bad. <laughs> bad and scary. Like being called to the headmaster's office. Very good school. and kind and patient colleagues. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? <laughs> it's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. He says, fighting off laughter. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Trivial encyclopedia knowledge. I guess trivial means the role is pretty easy. Defend yourself. Immediately. <laughs> They're laughing at you. Haha, <laughs> officer lost his badge, haha. <laughs> Can't we just move on? I want to get it reported and be done with it. I feel like they're going to mess with me, aren't they? 10-4, I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Don't worry, you also lost your gun. <laughs> and that will make everything better. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! I'm not Dick Mullen, I'm... John Cousteau. I'm not John's key, so what's, what's my name? What's going Can't, on? Why do I keep forgetting it? Christopher? Super Cop here lost his badge. You've got Kim and the tie and Kuno. He lost his right now. And soon I will have speed and everything will be okay. His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Could you all please just stop saying lost his badge for a moment? He asked you to please stop saying he lost his badge. Why? Did he find it? The room at the other end of the line erupts in volcanic laughter. Sergeant Parson was wondering if you found your badge yet. Over. Um, you don't have a comeback. Sorry. <laughs> It's hard to think like this. Um. He's not replying. Looks like he's still looking for it. You can hear laughter in the background. Enough with this now. I have other things to discuss. Ten nine, come again. I didn't get that. Over. The animated conversation in the back is making it difficult him difficult for him to hear you. New heights even for Captain Sober. <laughs> Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sergeant Orson wants to know if you left your, your name gun was to Talib Jalfrezi. Damn it, you guys. We should have just been able to create a name. I wouldn't have had any of these problems. Oh fuck. Oh. Drama medium, convince them that they you didn't lose your gun. Well, I've got to go for it. 28%, so what's that? Like, I need, like, a 4? Uh, sorry, I need 4 less than 12, so I need 8. Or higher. Even before you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled Damn down it. your brain. Buck hard cheese. All right, you guys. Where were you? Yeah, well, I failed the check, so we couldn't come up with a name anyway, but... It's a shame. We could have had some fun with it. We could have been a c combination of all of these. Shubes, Hard Cheese, Harold. No, of course, I didn't lose my fun gun. <clears throat> Fuck it. I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't lose his gun. Or his fun, whatever that means. Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not his fun. Just the gun will do. <laughs> He laughs. Satellite officer McLean requests a description of your weapon. Over. The fuck do you need a gun for? Look at the pythons on your arms. Yeah, you that's what's are up. a gun. Yeah, boy. The biggest one in the world. Damn fucking straight. Oh, request a description, huh? We'll give him one. Describe the plasma gun. Describe the plasma gun. The start it's, it's massive. Got flared cooling vents along the front and hydrogen flasks sticking out too. Kim, what are you packing? That's boring. It's a gun. What can I say? A regular goddamn murder weapon. You know how they are. Trick question. I'm a martial artist. My entire body is one big gun. Well, they're already making the fun of you, so you may as well roll with it. Uh, he says he's a living weapon and we are trying to trick him. 
host in heaven. Did he lose his gun and his mind? Dear God, he lost his gun? Oh, oh my, I can't. <laughs> the man succumbs to laughter again. This isn't really a laughing matter. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself, but this go here and him piss his pants. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his ask because he still got his wiener. <laughs> I'm not going to ask him. <sighs> Sergeant Dorson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Over. Now is a good time to say fuck and ass and so on. That'll make this all right. Can the dialogue be reread later, or are they stored in a way so you can use them? Yeah, so we can go up at, at all, um, and th some of the some of the skill checks are replayable, but I don't know if all of them are. Like, I don't know if we could go back in this one. Um, <laughs> I left it at his mum's after I fucked her ass all night. Tell him that. That's a negative. Not going to say that. Over. Jules, you're a pussy. What's he saying? Share with the class. He, uh, he said he sodomized your mother. The prick ate Mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. <clears throat> sure her vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? Hey. Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This yeah. is my mom we're talking about. I've turned about. it on him. Tell him to apologize right now. Shut up, man. Sergeant Dorson requests that you apologize for the claims that you made about his mother. Bother. Hey, if you don't like the fallout, maybe don't fuck with the Firewalker. Mac, like he says uh, you shouldn't have antagonized the Firewalker in the first place. That's right. Who? The disbelief in Vikmaya's voice is overwhelming. Satellite officer V. Fire. Um, I'm afraid he might be referring to himself as Firewater, sir. <laughs> Fire water? He's lost it. Fuck it. Tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. Okay. That's the only so we thing gotta that go. matters. We gotta go find him. Satellite officer. I heard him and I'm on it. Then for affirmative, officer is in pursuit of his firearm. They're static. Oh god, I. Uh... Um, the man is fighting back tears. Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. <laughs> I am in dire need of financial assistance. Send for, I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but... Kim is hearing all of this, yeah. Good, he's good, he's a good guy, Kim. He's growing on me. His stoic silence. What does he want now? I'm hoping you, I can get is the money for, for, money? Uh, for, for the hotel room. Is he fucking Or the damages, kidding? sorry, wasn't it? I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. See, I maybe should have done this before I said about fucking that guy's mum. Right, uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, uh, sir. That is a shame. Uh, is paramount to the investigation that you grant me more money? He's <laughs> not convincing. The case. He isn't getting a red cent. You can tell I'm guessing that. this is where my intellect skills are gonna let me down. Uh, because like, yeah, my persuasion is terrible. Lying is not great yet. Reconstruct crime scenes, okay. So, I think that one might be difficult. Request denied, sir. Over. Damn. Nothing is working. Hmm. Please, I'm begging you. I don't even have a place to sleep. <laughs> he says he's in trouble. Doesn't have a place to sleep. Well, I guess he'd better crack the case before sundown, then. That's gonna be difficult. Uh, Vigmar said... Who cares what this Vic may said? Pull on their heartstrings. <laughs> Enough, officer. This begging is below your dignity. Suggestion? Is my su Okay, my suggestion is kind of high. Oh, okay, so my charm is high, but my persuasion is low, which I guess... Play the puppet master. Okay, we can go for... We can lay on the charm. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go home. Please come and get me. Um, listen, it's okay. You can do it, sir. Over. What is he saying? Did you want anything else, sir? Many of your colleagues are also here. Over. <laughs> Please, I don't want to be here. I have to. Suddenly, the necktie feels like a boa constrictor uh -oh. around your neck, squeezing the dear life out of you. Hey, if you don't want to have.
have the most intense orgasm of your life. <laughs> Fine. Don't. What the hell is happening to me? He, he terminated the connection. I guess he was in a hurry. Please, I'm scared. I can't. I can't breathe. P help me, please. The radio falls silent. Oh, no. And lifeless. The communications officer has disconnected the call. Stupid necktie. What was that? It's okay, detective. <laughs> we call it subterfuge in the force. Ever heard of it? We should get on with our tasks. Work always helps me center myself. Now, wow. anything else you need from my vehicle or... I love it when your internal voices argue with each other. Yeah. And then the necktie as well, just to top it all off. I'm dangerously close to uh, zero to morale. South, I'm not sure what's going to happen if that happens. Relay booth. A small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules Oldboy Pudier. Around a dozen cops. How do I know this? This is cop knowledge. Uh, anything? I'm confused as to what this is talking about. The small room is filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz with laughter. Is he just picturing what's going on? Mino enters. Her at, left at the, arm is in bandages, and her hair trimmed short. What is going on here? Did something? Or happen? am I still on the radio? What happened is my partner made contact. It's not. The tie is your friend. He's lost his mm. badge and his sidearm. Oh, was the tie helping to like convince me that I was in trouble? Yeah, you may want to save, and I was thinking of saving. Can I quick save mid? That looks grayed out. Yeah, I can't save. Uh, F5 is quick save too. Active thoughts, alter dialogue option, tools, substance of community, diminishing during dialogue. Okay, I'm just going to drop a load of speed during one dialogue once I get a hold of it then. Time passes when picking new dialogue options. Read books to pass time quicker. Okay. Skill checks, skill points, okay. Need to pass time, beat, buy a book. Revashol. Okay. Mac, the torso Torson, is finger fucking his fist, <laughs> laughing hoarsely and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner. He needs Chester to up your mor morale. Near the entrance. Charges zero. Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. Yeah, Mac's right. This was some gnarly shit there. I mean, before he started begging for money, it was... Enough! None of this is funny. It's fucking sad. That's what it is. He's a cop. He's one of us, goddamn this. We must help him. Mina looks down at her neatly polished black shoes. There is a quiet firmness to her voice when she speaks. Yeah? How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on car juice. He's a lost man. I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. The crowd in the room has started fidgeting uncomfortably. Someone's trying to slip out unnoticed. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. He sighs heavily and turns to address the room. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain, or anyone else. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. Okay. I guess I can hold off the report for a few days. Old boy lights another cigarette. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. Okie dokie. Kim, what are we looking at? This is the Coupris Kinema, my motor carriage. You can use the toolbox and the radio if you'd like. Do we need to use the toolbox? Motor carriage, or just motor for fun? Something bad with a motor carriage. A dark lump rises in the I don't want to be this kind of animal anymore. <laughs> can we turn it on and drive it somewhere? Uh, did it. Uh, Let's look In the cabin, Let's see you what's see the a box. set of steering levers. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. 
But what can you do? Ooh, work chain cutters. Is work. Can we take anyth anything? Pry bar is always the useful. Pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Cold and heavy. Like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once more. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. I think I will take everything. It's robust, weatherproof, and well made. Police issue, blue, lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. Yes, that is very perceptive. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, though the cutters in your hand. The pull-out tool Take it all. slides back into its nest. Take it Breathe all. The gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers and the radio on its hook. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch labeled heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Okay. Alternative translation. <clears throat> Don't even think <laughs> you can drive my MC. All right. Who made the call? Call. Oh, right. Someone reported the hanging to the RCM. Maybe if you find out who it was, it may shed new light on the events. You have an idea where to start, but the caller could have been everyone. Call Sylvie using Kim shortwave. Okay, that's why I still had the option to use the radio. Inside. You see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Uh, a Sylvie. Of course. What is the number, officer? Uh, Kim, didn't Gart give you Sylvie's number? She did. Yes, she did. hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. Received. Hold on, officer. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. It takes a bit to get to the phone. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes, hello? A female voice greets you through the static. It sounds like she's a million miles away from here. Hello, this is the police calling. I have some questions for you. Or Sylvie, I believe we've met before. This is me, a detective from the Whirling in Rags. Have we met before? She recognizes your voice oh, almost immediately. What can I do for you? you can hear resentment in her tone. She's not ah. thrilled to be talking to you again. There is no resentment in her tone. She wants you to ask her out. No question about it. Oh, they're literally just debating between them. Do you trust electrochemistry in this situation? <laughs> Probably not. Empathy makes a lot more sense of like knowing what someone's tone of voices than electrochemistry but it's fun right I vibe with electrochemistry keep it in your pants electro <laughs> do you want to grab a cup of coffee have you seen my gun <laughs> please no not this again everyone saw your cool gun detective she sounds beyond exacerbated I showed you my gun when did that happen? You were trying to impress some people with it. Everyone was eating and... She stops hesitantly, not sure if she should, should continue. Sounds like it's going to be bad. Do you really <laughs> want to know? Uh, well, yeah, of course. You were waving it around in everyone's face, begging them to describe it. You <gasps> said it calms you, and then you started making suicide jokes. Jesus. It got pretty graphic. Some poor sod was trying to eat his pudding while you were screaming. Spit flying, imitating the mercy shot right next to him. Spat some in his food. I don't think he touched it after. Hey, you've seen your room. She can't possibly be thrilled to talk to you. Yeah. People I am a mess. I'm not denying it. Or even slip out of the door. But you screamed. I am the goddamned law. And you have to listen to me. You are all suspects in a murder investigation. <laughs> Why would I threaten to kill myself? I mean, look at this world. I would love to stay. There is silence on the other end of the line. I don't know what to say. Me neither. 
But what happened to my gun? No idea. All I know is next you were waving around money instead. Saying things like big bucks cannot lie and guns can't buy money but money can always buy guns. It almost looked like you pawned it. But believe me, I did not ask. Okay. Was it you who called the police? No. Not me. Why didn't you call? Did a corpse behind your workplace not bother you? What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the corpse. What does the Union have to do with anything? No one calls the police. The Union would get angry. What do you mean by that? You know, what the Union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Garbage. Wait, Kim, lower your microphone. Is she speaking the truth? Is the union is the law around here? That would be good to know. Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the dock workers' union. Okay. Words are not necessary to feel the lieutenant's discontent for the situation. Tell me why exactly you let a corpse hang in your own backyard for weeks instead of calling us. Oh, that's push on. Oh, we know the reason why. Look like looks like there is a limit to my authority. Mm -hmm. I see. I don't know what to tell you, officer. Do I you... didn't call you because I didn't oh. want to get in trouble with the others, with the union. I'm sorry about that. Do you know who made the call? No, sorry, I don't. <clears throat> Not a lot of people have phone calls. <laughs> you want to say I am the law? Take the wires. I'm the only problem is now that I have zero like uh, I'm so low on morale. I'm a little more tentative to just go in sort of guns blazing. The put in again. They use the union stone or the one on the coast. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. Okay. It just might take a while. Next question. Yeah, go on. <laughs> have you seen my badge? Yes, I know who you are. <laughs> You're a police officer. The law. My badge is missing. Have you seen it anywhere? Oh, no, Damn. I haven't. Sorry. Real police would have uniforms too, by the way. Oh, Where's shit. yours? Not my uniform too. <laughs> Kim doesn't have a uniform. That is true. He's in plain clothes voluntarily. It's different from not knowing where your uniform is. Hmm. There are officers who wear the signature Perseus black uniforms to the highest ranks in the RCM and end up buried in them as well. Others do it more casually. Looks like you're one of them. <laughs> Have you seen my policeman uniform? Uniform? I, I never saw you in any uniform. You had your things on, the disco things. Somewhere in a dank rental apartment, two police officers stand in the dark. Trash and liquor bottles cover the floor. Things are not good. One of the men, trying not to slip on old newspapers, makes his way to the window and pulls the curtains apart. Roaches scatter as the light comes in. Is this is this my memory, essentially? Because I thought Espirit de Corpse was just police knowledge. Cop culture. God damn. Officer Michelle Elfboy Williams speaks to himself. His partner, Sundance Fisher, looks at the patrol uniform he's wearing, then at an identical suit frame on the wall. It's blue and covered in dust. Let's get the fuck out of there. He turns to Williams. He hasn't been here in days. Right, I'm gonna save the, uh, save the flirting till the end. You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Why aren't you comfortable discussing it with me? I, uh, let's just say I left because I needed to get away from someone. From whom? You know whom. Damn it. You think you hear a sliver of accusation in her words. Don't be paranoid. She's obviously talking about someone else, not you. Godly volition was required there. 16, that, is that literally max roll? Are you going to stream this daily? Um, not quite daily, but I, I should do two or three, two or three a week. Um, so hopefully, I'm guessing. I, I think I saw on uh, how long to beat. It's like a 20-hour game. 
I imagine the streams will take slightly longer than that. That's just the nature of streaming. So, I don't know, like six or seven streams, a couple weeks. All right, let's not push. Maybe, I Again, don't know. I'm worried about my morale being super, lo super low. I just know I have to take some time Despite right my morale being low, I am going to hit on her. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. She didn't even respond. Well, I didn't have a chance. Despair creeps into you. Getting fat uh -oh. on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eating Am I about to go into like a deep state of depression? You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? <laughs> I'm seriously running out of shits to give. I've wasted my life protecting humans. They don't deserve it. I wish I was dead. <laughs> Jesus, man. Uh, I'm done. No one even likes cops. Yes, it can be difficult to be on the receiving end of so much distrust and outright hatred. He says with a sad half smile. Nothing you can say would make you feel any better now. Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. Another police officer resigned from the RCA I lost. following a nervous breakdown. Oh no! He now lives under a bridge, <laughs> drinking and occasionally throwing excrement at passers-by. Oh, Shabba. that's why we quick save relatively often. When asked to comment, former colleagues object. Oh, you got to go, KK. That is Thanks for joining. It's all right. I'm dead now. Was so, precipitated uh, by his who knows where we're going him. back to? It's because the GGs lost that match said Captain Ptolemy Price, once the man's superior officer. I literally just it's resigned, gave up. Get a big gun I, thought, uh, I thought and Kim was going to anyway, like pull me out from the brink really burns you out after and we were going to bond over it. But he was just like, alright, well, if you're going to resign, the we do it. Former cops I get paid enough. Commented. Sergeant Matt Torson, another former colleague, did not propose any theories, merely saying, whatever happened to him wasn't about birds. He got fucked, that's all. Why did my morale go? I flirted so bad I died, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, but why did my morale go down? She didn't reject me. She just like hung up. <laughs> I was like, you wanna go out for coffee? No, okay, I'm, d I'm done. I'm resigning. Well, thanks for playing, guys. It was good fun. <laughs> Uh, video on Disco Elysium coming very soon. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's see how far back we went. Is that real time? Oh my god, we're so far back. That's an hour ago. Oh no. Oh. That's actually brutal. Oh, I want to get some emergency meds. Guys, we just lost an hour, over an hour of progress. We lost 70 minutes. Oh, that sucks. That's a real shame. That's why we, that's why we say it's not real time. I don't know, but we weren't, we weren't at, <laughs> we did warn you. Yeah, but we weren't at, uh, we were only at like 11 p.m. in game, right? And we're, look, I mean, it showed it showed we were back at the crime scene. Yeah, I'm fucking mad. There they away. both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminate. Secret task complete. Find where the shoe gain experience. On your feet. Uh, okay. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. Before the car convo, I'm gonna have to speed run it. Good. But this. Balanced. Oh, Come oh yeah. Now I can heal my like morale. Only good thing about you. Oh, right it did actually give me an extra one. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have tried to flirt with that woman. She clearly hated me. Did we have the Kuno conversation? No, we haven't even had all of that either. <laughs> oh, mate, it's so grim. Uh oh, that sucks. This is the funny but frustrating part of the game. Okay, so what we're going to start learning to do is quick save before we go into any conversation, I guess. I mean, that's kind of that's that kind of sucks because we I mean, we we literally ticked off uh tasks, 
which you think would be an auto save. We, f we I don't think we've even spoken to Kuno, so why didn't so that auto save? Kill Kuno's Gale. What's up with that? Oh, you want to talk about it? I mean, I could run this back in my own time to save you guys some some trouble. What we're at, we're only at we're only at eleven. Uh, but I don't. I don't also want to change the dialogue options. I'd rather like stick with it how we were going. But I don't. I mean, it's not really fun to just. I think it auto saves when you change areas or level up. Did I lose my skills? We only, we only leveled up once and we put it in drama, so that's fine. Um. <sighs> let me see how much I can. How quickly I can do this. What? I'll just. I'll just try and. Uh, I mean, it's it's not great content, you guys. But uh, I'll try and remember wh what I pressed. Not all of us. No one's moving. Kuno, no. But you and Kuno are good for now. Pals, shoot that shit and you Kuno is a merciful king. Speed run the dialogue. Yeah, it's just sense. like, it just obviously it's not great. But we should be able to get through it pretty quickly. We can try this again. Although I'm now really worried about l losing my morale. Okay, but 28% is not that low. One in three. He's on your crime scene, bossing you around. And he's been here Ooh, for some I think time I passed too. that last time. This is where he hangs out. You can click quick when you aren't reading. You have to get more out of him. He could be useful. Ah, shit. See, I, I think I passed that skill check last time. Trying to fuck at the Kuno. Trying to fuck at me. Trying to fuck. Kuno only gets higher. It's faster, faster, faster. Can't take right. the Kuno. Oh. Stay out of the reactor. This guy's like a 10, right? But he's definitely on drugs. Kuno gonna fuck you up. Normal is not what we got here. You've got to work okay. with what you have. The fuck about it? Okay, so we don't have those dialogue options now. Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. So I guess this maybe just stops us from getting the uh, the drug run for Kuno, which is a shame. Kuno's fucking got Look at him. Fucking gross hormone shit. Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw. Oh come on, he's just pretending that he <laughs> doesn't care because he's too small for. Get the fuck out of here, trying to fuck on me with that midget shit. Kuno's twelve. He's huge. What are you? Fucking eighty. When Kuno's eighty, trying to fuck on Kuno. Fuck out. Kuno tried to get oh. Kuno kick that shit in the sea, rugby style. That shit means nothing to Kuno. He threw he threw the helmet in the sea. Yeah, that shit means nothing to Kuno. Kuno doesn't give a shit about material Might as well try the white shit. checks again. Kuno's yeah. a fucking monk. You wanna fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck the mustached union fuck. The jolly troubadour shit at the gate. Troubadour? Yeah, cock in boot. You know that jolly <laughs> union cow fucker? Came around talking Damn, about so cows Kuno's still shit. gonna be super Came aggressive towards me, I think, like because we failed that cows. check. So yeah, he's the one you want to talk to. But he's this is new. crazy about that armor shit. Coming here pretending like he likes cows. Trying to catch a peep of Kuro's armor. Go to the gate. Ask him yourself. Yes, this troubadour has it. You can feel it. Fuck are you talking about? What is this contusion shit? He says you're stupid, Kuno. They want to make you stupid again. Yeah, you still get stuff even out of a failure. It's just we've we've gone off in a different direction. It's all good. As much as I wanted to do, do a, a drug deal mission, a contusion is a bruise. Oh, did Kuno make your shit sniffing harder? Obstruction of shit sniffing. This is Kuno's kingdom. Kuno fucking rules here. Hmm. You hear the lieutenant hum. He's thinking the kid has amassed quite the vocabulary of law enforcement terms. But he's not going to stick his nose into this. But I will. Me and my partner are wondering, do you guys puff Peter? Kuno erupts into laughter, pointing his finger at you, then Kim, then back at you. An unfortunate choice of words, the lieutenant from Precinct 57 thinks. He looks at the harbour walls looming overhead. He could use a cigarette right about now. Okay, so we've ran through all these. You're testing Kuno. Get lost. I don't think we got anything from this. Let me just right, speed hey, through it. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo choo. Oh yeah, this was oh, about no. the gardener, right? Yeah, that's what Kuno said. Yeah, that's what Kuno <laughs> said. Okay. She couldn't look. 
Kuno doesn't explain shit. And the ladder no, wasn't him. Not, he thinks you'll get the fuck out of here. Yeah, whatever. All right. Kuno, Kuno does Fucking Kuno. We're less friendly than we were last time. It adds real weight to two checks to lose so much time. Yeah, that's true. I just didn't expect to lose that much. What I was thinking, though, is that uh, you... When we spoke to... Was it Sylvie? And she was talking about describing the gun. If I can get that description out of her and then talk to the police, they Before asked me to decide my, carriage, describe my gun, so I might be able to actually do it. And white vapor emanates from the large so let's cabin. see. You are welcomed by let's a set grab, of let's lever, grab all this first. The metallic Take what you He's clearly Give me that. Cold, useful for opening all Give me that. Give me that. Let's you see the okay. pull-out toolbox slides back into its nest. Uh, okay, so cost. now, leave, save. Oh, it's F5, isn't it? Okay, Inside, now we'll run through this combo again. Set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox. You can get into Kuno's hideout even after failing that che gauge. check. Okay, good to know. In pure D and D style, there will be uh, there will be ways of multiple ways around everything, right? You just gotta use your noggin. Tools come first. Is this game linear or multiple ending style? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Uh, it is, I think, single ending, but obviously multiple ways to get there. The frequency tableau lights up, which I kind of like. Labeled I mean, prime I prime line glows like a feline. I, I do eye. like multiple endings. You hear something, but I also appreciate if uh, if a, if the writer, like a or or the narrative team, just like if you have an ending in mind, then go for it. Like Bioshock is a good example of where I don't think. I don't think that that game needed multiple endings, and I think that was a that was at the request of Two K, like the publisher, rather than Ken Levine. Um, but that game didn't need a good and a bad ending, and it's clear that the good ending of Bioshock is the intended ending, and the bad one was just like, oh well, you harvested a load of little sisters, so guess you're evil. The soft purr of but. electrical kittens, radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. Okay. How may I assist you? I'm wondering if I can play this any differently. But it was also, I mean, they all they all they did was ultimately tell us to find the gun and the badge. So. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm going to be I'm super friendly him with them. See if this goes goes any differently. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Okay, let's speak to Sylvie first. Of course. What is the number of it? Yes, hold. Received. Give it a minute. Just wait. We're speed running it. Office. Let's go. Yes, hello. Okay. We have five. We have five uh, morale points. I wonder if there's anything. Does your health on, also only go down in health points, or can you just die straight up? Wow, yeah, that's another reason to save all the time. All right. Uh, Sylvie, I believe I'm at four. All right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? It's a hard question to answer. There is one solution to the case, but the interpretation of it and the effect it has on the characters depend greatly on how you solve it. There's a single murderer and a reason. There are specific pieces that you may miss or be different depending on how you play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you can just die. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, based based on this, it's looking way more character driven, right? Um, especially when they've given so much to the the the, the core character, whatever his name is. Um, with, in terms of like literally his internal <laughs> struggles, um, I feel like the characters are obviously going to be at the crux of this rather than the murder mystery. You can hear resentment in her tone. She's not thrilled to be talking to you again. There is no resentment in her tone. She wants you to All right. ask her out. No I'm good. Should we go it. with this again? Imagine if it was just like immediately minus five points of morale. Okay, no. So uh, she almost told us about my gun. Please, yeah, that was no, it. Not this again. Everyone saw your cool gun. That you were trying to impress some people with it. Everyone was eating. <laughs> Sounds like what it's did I do? You were waving it around and everyone's begging them to describe, begging them to it, to describe to you. it. 
You said it calms you, and then you started making suicide jokes. Some poor sod was trying to eat his pudding while you were screaming. Spit. People tried to back away from you, or even <laughs> slip out of the door. I am the goddamn law. Screamed. Okay. I am the goddamned law. Okay, so can you actually describe you, you, you can't me. get her to describe it. You though. are all suspects in a murder investigation. I mean, the only one I didn't click was this one. No, please. No more suicide threats. Thank God you don't have that stupid gun anymore. No idea. All I know is next to a waving okay. a... It almost looked like you pawned it. But believe me, I did not ask. You have a... I've missed a couple things. You have a good amount of both health and morale. You can... Build having only one or two of each, and then you can insta die. You will feel different about the murder, and other people feel different about you based on how you build relationships. Okay, I'm gonna just see what see what should have happened or could have happened. No, absolutely not. Oh, that was it. Ouch. <laughs> That's like twenty points of pride damage right there, buddy. Yeah, no kidding. Enough to make a man resign, you could say. Okay. Uh, this. No, not me. Let's just speedrun this. If anyone's just joined the stream, um, I got to this point and died, and we lost an hour of progress. So, uh, forgive me if you're trying to listen to the voiceover and I'm just speedrunning through it. But we have all done this all before. Uh, so just go back a, a couple or a, an hour or so in the VOD. No one calls the police. You know. Garbage. Uh, yes. Legally he said yes. Words it is. are not necessary to feel the lieutenant's discontent. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to tell you, officer. No, sorry. No, it doesn't know who made the call. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. It was someone else. Okay. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. Next yeah, question. We on. didn't have another question. Oh, maybe Can this one. Why did I leave the bar? Oh, she wouldn't tell I, us, would she? Uh, you know who? You think you hear a sliver of don't be paranoid. She's obviously talking about someone else. You mean me? You. I really don't want to talk about this. Why'd I get experience from that? This, okay? okay, okay. Maybe, I don't know. I just know I have to take some time off right now. Okay. I do hope so. Ooh. Please, don't call me again. Oh, okay, we didn't Bye. get this last time. Well, we fucking resigned beforehand, that's why. Alright, come on. We're back here. We, we, we're due a good skill check, you guys. 83%. That's, I'm feeling good about that. We only need, like, a fucking four. Not even that. Yes, you have obviously done something to upset her at the whirling in rags. Before you go, still working there. you're mad at me, right? Tell me what I, what did I do? I can't remember anything. I'm not mad, it's just... You were so drunk and so emotional all the time, and then the skewer thing happened. It just made me want to quit. The skewer thing? Oh, I was the one who made you want to quit? Let's see what the skewer thing is. The stuffed bird. The green oh. skewer. You threw it against the wall while screaming, Fuck that bird, and laughing like a maniac. Oh no, I made her quit. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. This doesn't sound anything like me. I love birds. Bitch bird, what we got, what's coming to her? Why do I always end up screwing everything up? I'm gonna go... Sure, let's, let's open up a little bit to her. It was a pretty bird. There since I started working in Whirling. I really liked her. We call her Scotty. There's genuine sadness in her voice. So you're telling me that I was the one who made you want to quit? Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. And I have seen so many assholes in this place. I've had sailors fighting, union guys grabbing my ass, kids stealing booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months. But you... Go on. I want to know what I did. Well, you were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting uh -oh. borderline aggressive. Even about little things like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I I hate it now. Which song? We Go On by the OO. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. 
Sorry. Sorry about the song. To hell with that song. Then there was your room. Your project. An experiment to see how bad it can get in there. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me Was this... I, and I've only been here like no nine... Uh, like uh, three days, it was saying? Fry, what's up, my guy? How's it going, mate? Thanks for joining the stream. The voice acting is great. Yeah, I, I was just saying. I don't know if you joined, but I've just been. Uh, we've just been speed running like the past hour. So, but we've gotten to a new point now. So we we should be listening because it does feel bad to skip over it when it's this good. And then you scream something about being the most boring person alive and how everyone leaves you because you're just so boring. Boring. Sounds intense. And then I had to deal with your toilet. The one you clogged with police documents, causing water damage downstairs. I am, I am honestly the worst person alive. I won't even mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, threatening to kill yourself. Wait, police documents? I, oh, the ones I had to rent out of your toilet. What happened to them? I, damn it, I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember every little thing I do. Resentment gives way to concern in her voice. She's worried she might have accidentally done something bad. <laughs> then she remembers it's you. Especially when there's a hurricane loose, it's your fault for losing them, not mine. Something in you wants to immediately forget about this, as if there was a reason you threw them away. Okay, I get it. I wasn't a very good tenant. No, you really weren't. You were simply the worst. <laughs> I was trying to show you the world of tomorrow. The great panic at the end. This is the problem as well, is because this is this is a perfectly fine response. This is a sensible. This is a, ni a nice. But then I read this, and I'm like, how do I not pick this sentence or two sentences? It's just so good, <laughs> you know. Or you, you know, this this is this is too sensible. It's not appealing enough. Look at these. Look at these other answers, you know. You know, girl, just loosen up a little bit. Actually, she already re rejected me, so maybe we shouldn't go with that one. God, I, I know I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again, and let's uh, pretend it's Sensible? No way. I do have some skills to begin RPG style. You have the ability to su build some, and the checks are generally easier, yeah. I mean, some of them are relatively easy. Yeah, uh, it's just obviously all dependent on what skills you have the radio. at the beginning. Wordless. The call breaks, then the already familiar voice. Yeah, like what's interesting is obviously the ones that I'm getting pop up are things like, you know, all my fives because because they're coming up and it's saying success. So it's kind of crazy to think how many checks are underlying, like going on during everything, because I'm guessing these are all these are all going on at the same time. But obviously, I think it only crops up when you have, or, or most of the time, it crops up when you get a success, right? Like a success is when it actually, like, the, the your your psyche comes in and tells you something. So I'm guessing it's just running checks for like basically every skill, every you know, every couple lines of dialogue, which is just mental to think about all the underlying mechanics going on. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Uh, I guess I need to quickly report my badge and gun. Just a second, uh, so I will speed run this quickly. Ten four, what's your status? Ten eighteen, ten twenty. State your message, sir. But you say ten nine. Repeat me. Ten four, miss. Ten twenty. Is it him? Says he does. You what? I feel so bad skipping it at this level. Uh, Dick, but we have heard this all before. Immediately, they laugh at you. I'm just gonna pick the same ones I did, so at least it's uh, it's true, like that, in that sense. Um, you don't. He's not replying. No, ask, Sergeant. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh fuck! Okay, do we? I guess did we? Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't check this one. We didn't pass this one last time. Lying Let's go. over the phone, it's easy. Just say it like it's the truth, and then it becomes it. Yeah, there are checks frequently happening that you don't see. The fact that your amnesia was a voluntary self-inflicted attempt at the total obliteration of the self is an interesting wrinkle. 
he says he didn't. Far from your average narrative. Decisions. Thank God for that. That would have been a nightmare. I don't even want to imagine the poor prick who has to relay that kind of news to the captain. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not seeing how this really benefits me that I just lied. Losing his badge is bad enough. Tell him to find it and fast. We can't have some gangbanger gun, running around with it. We were glad to hear you've not lost your gun, officer. You need further assistance. <laughs> yeah, I've actually lost my gun too. Uh, ooh, did, could, do we have another attempt at the financial assistance, or did they just, did they just, uh, for, I, hear you. I don't have the authority to answer your request, but, they just denied what it straight up, now? he's asking, I don't think, don't I don't think right, there was a, sir. a role That's here, negative was there? on the additional funds, sir, over, <laughs> well, look enough, officer, this begging is below your dignity, okay, this is what we went with last time, suggestion, I don't think that actually, it didn't really, it didn't really do anything for us today. Nothing is working. Okay, never mind. Anything else, sir? Over. Uh, there are personal details I'd like to discuss. I didn't go through those last time. We got a success. I think you skirt losing some morale, but you also lose some background of how they treat you. Okay. Well, I did just, I just, just, I bull rushed through it, so here we are. Uh, okay, then four, sir. I hear you. I'm not sure Relay I did this one over. Wait, before you say anything stupid, think it through. Rhetoric. Uh, my rhetoric's super low, right? Yeah, there's only one. What is there to think about? You're going to be looking at a straitjacket if you tell everyone you lost your memory. Okay. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. 10 four, sir. I'm not hearing your question. Ooh. I wanted to know if you got my badge's description right in your report. Could you read it to me? Please refer to me with my full name in the future. I... Let's go with this. What? What is it? He's still on the line? He wants to verify his information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, <laughs> High General of the Revachoian Cavalry Force. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Over. Okay, let's try and get him on his own. That's a negative, sir. I got a 10 12 here. Over. Okay, he's not going to go then. Um. <laughs> Please refer to me with my full name in the future. The nine repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Say Over. my name. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Over. Please just say my name, Jules. Uh, what? Come on. What is it? Just what say it. What can he possibly just still want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking uh -oh. me to call him by his name. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken okay. antics. Okay, okay. Understood, sir. Over. Roger that. Ten ten. Over and out. Eighteen kilometers to the south, in the 41st Precinct's relay booth, a small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules Oldboy Pudier. Around a dozen. Yeah, cars. like I'm not totally sure what this is saying. Like, is this. Is this his memory, or is he. He's just like using his knowledge to create a picture like in his mind's eye of what the other all those others are like the actual situation going on there the small room is filled with cigarettes it's very detailed a buzz with laughter when officer judith minnow enters her left the arm skill sometimes gives you additional and insights and visions about short. stuff right yeah that makes sense what is going on here did something happen what happened is my partner made contact and it's not good He's lost his badge. Okay, we did, we did we went through this as well, didn't we? Mac, the torso torso. Yeah. Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Yeah, Mac's right. This was some gnarly shit. Enough. None of this is funny. We must help him. Yeah. How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. 
This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this. I guess I can hold up the report for if good. Okay, yeah, so we got two days to okay, solve the everybody. case. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. Far north, on the New other side point. of Let's the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. Okay. I think, more or less, we have just got up to up, up to speed again. We're back to where we were, right? Which means I should definitely save. You're seeing what is uh, happening elsewhere like a vision. Shivers is full of it. We're all caught up. Let's go. Okay, so 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 this time, uh, how's that looking? One hour still. This time I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna save a point for an important skill check. We might get to go again. I didn't realize how. Uh, okay, these are my tools. I didn't realize how inspired by D and D this uh, this is. It's really cool. All right, so we we actually aren't fully caught up. We haven't spoken to these guys, but I didn't really speak to them all that much anyway. Goody. Okie doke. So the main thing right now is obviously to get into the harbour, isn't it? Keep searching for the caller despite lacking any obvious leads. This may take some time. Ask your... Ah, uh, okay. Maybe we should go back into the whirling in rags and see if we can talk sweet to Gart to help him uh, lay off the funds. Okay, yeah. Uh, right, go to the harbour and ask the Jolly Mask about the armour. Access the harbour and ask for Evart Claire's help. It's unclear how you should go about finding a tiny piece of plastic in a world as huge as this. Maybe you'll stumble across it. Find any information you can on the gun. Did you save? Yes, I did. It's F5. We're going to be smashing S F5 as, as often as possible. All right, let's ro let's go back in here. Ah, oh, closed for winter. That's not the main entrance. I guess that's around the front then. Probably the greatest AD and D CRPG. Could well be. Big claim, but I def I definitely don't know any other games like it. Strongly inspired by Planescape Torment. I have. Oh, you're saying that's the greatest AD and D CRPG. Uh, interesting. I haven't heard of that. All right. Uh, so the, the, we we know about the bird now. You should totally sing karaoke here. <laughs> the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Yeah, I feel, I feel that, bro. Of course. At this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. Mm. It needs to be heard through a PA system <laughs> by other people, whether they like it or not. Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. Mm. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Yeah, lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge on my soul with that one. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic soul. Yeah. Who's laughing now? No one. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Oh, I will. Get a hold of a sad song on tape. Can I help you? Yes. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to sing karaoke here. Absolutely out of the question. God, God, lighten up, bro. Wait and see, cafeteria manager. Absolutely in the question. <laughs> First we find a sad banger. Then we sing this place to shit. I've seen something here at the Whirling Gart. A thing I need to talk about. What thing? 
I saw a sign that said I couldn't go into the kitchen. Why can't I go into the kitchen? I saw a sign that said the mess hall was reserved for the union. Yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. He tosses his head in disdain. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. He hates the union, but grudgingly recognises its power over him. So he's directing his frustration at you instead. Retaliate. Mm, I kind of want to keep him on my good side just because I owe him money. We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Lordness means talkative, and we need info. How do we find them? We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. Okay. Why can't I go into the kitchen? What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. There may be something pertinent to the investigation in the kitchen. He wasn't pan-fried. He was lynched. <laughs> What could the kitchen possibly have to do with... He changes his mind. Fine. Okay. The kitchen is closed until 1pm because the cook is working. You can snoop around Thanks after God, that mate. if you must. Oh, much appreciated. What? Most important quest in the game. We will sing karaoke. Your voices hype each other up. Yeah. I'm really liking the interplay between. By the way, my you should come back to this. All my emotions. Questionnaire. If you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Wait, what? What think-based questionnaire? By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire. I saw another thing. Another thing. Great. Oh no! I okay, right, right, right. So, oh, so I can talk to Gar about other things as I. Find them, yes. I see. So, about that money I owe. Yes, have you got it? Okay, how much do I owe you again? A lot. A lot, lot. For the room, drinks, and broken window. Okay. 130 real. I don't think Gart likes me or anyone. It's not... Like what? I was... It's not seeming that way, but I did harass him, like, pretty intensely when I first met him. So, maybe that's on me. Uh, I'm not sure if I spoke to her much. Okay, well, let's come back here at, at 1 o'clock. Uh, I can't, yeah, because then the kitchen will be open. I'll quickly check out. There's nothing. Uh... Hello again, sweetie. <laughs> How'd you like to roll with me? Whatever do you mean? I want you to be my wheelchaired partner in fighting crime, reading backyards of corpses, catching sequence killers. Ooh, roll us a cigarette. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, damn it. I haven't smoked in years. Why don't you smoke? It's great. Cigarettes are a luxury, sweetie. Besides, I have to mind my health. Wait, maybe she knows where you can get cigarettes. Delicious, toasty cigarettes stuffed to the tip with love. Lena is a cutie. Out. Well, she's going to get me some rollies. You would do well with follow sweet. her example. Smoking is the reason you feel like a rag. Shut up, Felicia. It's painful for you to even ask these questions. Can you tell me where to get cigarettes? You should really ask someone younger and more mobile, sweetie. <laughs> but you're the most mobile person of them all. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, but I still don't know where you can get cigarettes. Sweetie needs money. Do sweeties get money? Oh, sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your financial troubles. When do you get your next paycheck? Rowley's bun. If she could, this woman would feed and clothe you and QT. every other sad lost person. Say it out loud. You've got guns of steel and a chiseled jaw somewhere under the bloated alcohol layer. Maybe she'd like to sponsor you. Oof, 92%. All right, well, we got to get it. Your deportment remains dignified as you shed a single manly tear. It isn't easy for me to ask this of anyone, but I am at the end of my rope. Any money you could help me. Sweetie, you have could help me. I only have a few cents only, but I, I could give you this to pawn just to tide you over. She unfastens a gold commemorative P 
pin from her left jacket pocket and drops it into your palm. Wonderful. He has a pin. <laughs> the pin is round and slightly tarnished. Three sailboats in bas relief with the sun hovering over the water behind them. A chipped green banner at the bottom reads, Sam Baptiste, Summer 31, Dinghy Races. Uh... Where could I pawn the pin? Cross the plaza and follow the road along the coast. Down by the water, there'll be a shack nestled against an old stone facade. That's the pawn shop. An old friend of my husband's goes there often. He says the owner is quite helpful. Okay. We items need that can be pawned at Bird's Nest Roy's appear in your inventory under the items tab. You can pawn these items when talking to Roy. I promise I'll buy it back for you once I have more money. Oh, it's not an ancient family heirloom or anything, but I suppose it mm -hmm. would be nice to get it back. I thought I, I thought I said this to her. Yes, officer. You look rather dazed. Like a stunned fox. But surely things can't be that bad. Her eyes follow your mo movements with some concern. She won't judge you, no matter what you say. Oh, okay. Um, I drank so hard I forgot literally everything. That is the truth. Oh my. You know where we are, right? The Whirling in Rags cafeteria. It was on my keys. That's right. And where is the Whirling in Rags cafeteria itself located? In Revishol? Yes, indeed. We are in the fine city of Revishol. Hmm. I don't know diddly squat about Revishol. How would I even begin to tell you? Revishol is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. There's a pause as she studies your expression. You must look quite lost. Speaking of history, you know what year ah, it is. Oh, 51. Yes. I, I was off. <laughs> sure, it's the year 973. You're joking. Try again, one more time. What year is it? All I know is we are approaching the end times. Perhaps, dear. Perhaps. Okay, 51. But for now, it's just the spring of 51. She is perturbed by your not knowing what year it is, but not by your mention of the apocalypse. It must be the end times. The lieutenant studies you, rubbing his chin. I'm beginning to suspect that you might indeed be completely adrift in this reality, thinks the lieutenant. How can it be that bad? Never mind. We're in this now. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. Oof. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? It's never a democracy, is it? dictatorship or the proletariat i'm not sure what that means but something's telling me it's not civilization cowers before us we are governed by intelligent machines cop <laughs> um radios are being used to control people's minds let's go with intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine the freest market everyone hustles and grinds like a badass visionary Oh, no. Nothing like that, dear. Revishol is a zone of control led by an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have almost no government of our own. Certainly no machines. If there is no government, how come there are cops? Oh, dear. This is troubling. You really ought to know that, being one yourself. There aren't any cops in Revishol, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You mm. look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. She's scared now. She's realized you really are <laughs> brain damaged. So, how did I do? You didn't do too well, dear. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. History and places... Remembering reality, in a word, it's very odd. A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his notebook. But 
Maybe a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary. So I, I wouldn't worry too much. She means this sincerely. Worrying won't do you any good. A defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. But I'm a cop. Whatever it was hasn't stopped me. Of course, sweetie. I I really don't know how to explain it better. It's okay, Lena. I appreciate I'm it. Just a poor woman, she thinks. What do I know of these things? Mm -hmm. And how can I help you? Who could tell me more? Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. He turns to the lieutenant. No. I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Okay. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. I'm thinking, you guys. Let's... Because I, I need to sell... I need to get the funds together before the end of the day, right? So I might try and take a quick trip down to the pawn shop where we can sell that. Return Lena's pin. Uh, if we can remember where that is. Uh, and then I might call it there for the night. Lena is a sweetie. And she had some useful information. I should have spoken to her earlier. <gasps> quick save. Uh, if I can get to the pawn shop now, it said, did it say down by the river? Aha. Here we go. That sounds rivery. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, that, that's the bookstore, isn't it? Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff I haven't seen yet. Can guide you, me. She said, "Follow the follow the river," didn't she? There's a girl up there. There's a girl in the garden. Basically, just go left for a while. Roger that. Oh, it literally it, it does keep going left. Ooh, boat. I kind of want to speak to the boat guy. Ooh. So that's... Uh, well, I'm not sure what that... The little circle of things around my head. Is that... that must, those are my thoughts, I suppose. You followed the river the wrong way. Yeah, I did only get towards the boat. Well, it was a 50-50 chance. This way? And hear the distant squall of seabirds. I think I followed it wrong again. Bullet holes. I don't really. I, well, well, we'll come back to all these. I was going to say I'm, I'm a little. I don't want to be like skipping all these people that I obviously haven't spoken to, but. It is almost midnight. We've been going for four hours. Almost. Did I follow the river the wrong way again? That's, well, yeah, now we're just back to, okay, so we just gotta go this way, this way, this way. A sewer gate. Don't forget to save. Yeah, I saved when we came out. I guess the only, well, the only risk, I mean, unless, unless something literally comes out of nowhere and, and kills me. Uh, my only risk of of dying is in dialogue, but it's I, it, it's worth getting into the habit, right? You're looking for a shack. This big shack right here. Let me in. Let's open this. 
Oh, more electrochemistry. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just drag and drop. I can't wear these. Oh, there we go. Cigarette stained fingertips. Gasoline stained fingerless gloves in navy blue. But being made of wool still provides some warmth and comfort. I need a hat. Bullets. Well, I guess I gotta find my gun before bullets are gonna be of any use to me. Hey, we did it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to, to look at. We got some military wear. You might like, they would like pins. Cash register. Film projector. And a bust. Is there no Roy? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's like literally in it's a little thing. It's not often that I see officers from the RCM in my pawn shop. The man at the counter turns to you slowly. What can I do for you? His courtesy is not insincere, but he prefers being alone with his projector. Just watching the movement of light across the walls of the shop. Sorry, I feel like I'm interrupting you. Oh no, not at all. I guess I haven't had many customers lately. RCM or otherwise. Who are your customers usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, travelers, people looking for a deal, people looking for a keepsake. People who are terminally bored. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. And quite the collection indeed. It keeps me entertained. His attention is drawn once more to the play of light and shadow on the walls behind you. Entertained? He might be high. If he is, on what? <laughs> is Roy high? And if yes, then what's he on? Let's find out. Three and th three and four chance. Feeling warm and enthralled mm. by the movement of light while the mind continues to race forward. Lucky bastard. He's probably on Parolidon. It's Parolidon. tough to come by on the street. A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects. That sounds like it and could introduce some your eyes very interesting yellow. dialogue options. <laughs> Should I go straight to the point? Let's not beat around the bush. I mean, if if we play it too cool, he's going to think I'm, you know, going to arrest him for doing drugs. Straight to the point. How would I know? Hmm. Takes a step back. Whoops. There's a note of indignation in his voice. Interesting. Those triangle patches on his vest. You have a feeling they mean something. Like they're similar to the halogen rectangle on your jacket. <laughs> Chill out, man. I'm a chill out cop who just wants some more for what you're having. I probably did loads of. What was it called? Poholidron? Poholidon? Before I lost my memory. I don't want to see. I, I don't want him to just, just realize I'm a total nutcase. Let's ask about the triangles. I was. I was with the Emergency Relief Brigade. You know, after the People's Pile disaster. He coughs as if to mark his words. Had to take Perolodon for radiation sickness. That's what you were hinting at just now, wasn't it? He's taken for mental and emotional, not physical pain these days. That must have been tough. Radioactive cleanup. There's a reason why everyone's tried to forget any of it ever happened, and why no one has tried to repair or replace the pile. So much disappointment, and early deaths, cancer mostly, and we knew all that was coming even as we were cleaning up as best we could. Whose fault was it that the generator failed? No one's. Everyone's. He sighs and shakes his head. So much bitterness. A bunch of poor people built themselves a primitive nuclear reactor, hoping for the best. What do you think is going to happen? Hmm. 
who tell me more about this emergency relief brigade you were part of. We were an all volunteer force, self organized, tried to help the fire brigades contain the spill. Tough son of a gun, this one. Respect. I lived by the river since I was a small boy. The Esperance didn't have the art to let it all go to shit without trying to do something to help out. There wasn't much the volunteer force could do, however. We wasted years in the river mud. Years getting sick. He looks at the spiraling light and stops. Thank you for telling me. I like the theory more than the story. Outward movement, not vortices. Yeah, you gotta get in on those vortices, my man. Are there something I'd like to sell? Let me have a look. I'd like to sell my clothes. I have a fascinating photo of a corpse. Okay, I have this commemorative pin, but before I sell it, I have some questions. Son Baptiste Summer Dinghy Rates is 31. What a pleasant time that was. Then I'm going to sell all my clothes. So, what do you want to know? Price? I can give you 320 for it. Jesus, I needed... What do I need? 100 160? 130? A pin from 31 ought to be priced at 310. But I added another 10 cents just to be nice. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, I'll take it. We need every little... Every, every bit we can help right now. Sure. I can keep it behind the counter for a week, but only if you pawn it right now. Okay, I'm doing it. Sure thing. So, do you want to sell anything? I'd like to sell my clothes. I'm not purchasing any more clothing at the moment. He looks you up and down quickly. And especially that tie. It <laughs> swallows photons around it. I have no need for necrotic objects. Our standard video game fair. Don't forget to check trash cans. Your mother is a necrotic object. I'm fun. Look at me sparking in the light of the projector. <laughs> All right, let's sell, let's sell this. Selling. Do I drag it? Click on it. Anything else you're thinking of selling? Is that done? Oh, porn. Okay. Uh, he's not going to take the photos of corpse. Another time, perhaps. So I guess I'll just try and get the uh, get the drugs. Have you tried it before? It's almost like he's worried for you. The lieutenant steps away, <laughs> pretending to admire some of the knickknacks on display. Hell yeah, Looks Ty! Like he's always he coming in at the best times. Involved. Go ahead then. He thinks, as long as you can walk straight, I don't care. I think I've tried it once and liked it. Here you go, man. Oh, well I'm gonna have to buy yes, it. Yes, darling. That's the coalition government ordained parolidon. Straight into your gut. Hell yeah. Do we take it immediately? Not so sure about this. Shut up, Felician. Why wouldn't I be sure? Because it's an anti-radiation drug, and you're a cop. Not a post-apocalyptic scavenger. Thanks, man. Of course. All right. It wasn't speed, but we got our drugs in the end. You can't keep a good drug addict to down, as they say. There may be something else you're missing that you mentioned you wanted to pawn while you were hammered. When I was hammered, what, like right at the beginning? You might be able to... Oh, do you want to have any guns? Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. Ah, damn it. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. What? That'll be it. Sold? Here you go. The lieutenant shifts from one foot to another. Alert. Uh-oh. Um, was the buyer a policeman too? She didn't seem like a policeman. Although she kept referring to herself as a pig. Ooh, what if it's, uh... I found her interest the, the in the gun a bit... Obsessive. But I was just happy to get rid of it. And what's, what's, of what's, the, what's the guy called? Konu? 
truth be told, she uh, it's was definitely her. Kona West, whatever her name is. Right, so let me get this right. You sold your sidearm issued by the citizens' militia, and now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with mm, it? Maybe. Miraculously, his face does not reveal what's happening inside. <laughs> maybe she's a vigilante. It's possible in these parts of town. We ought to find her and discourage her from taking justice into her own hands. Hmm. Any idea where I can find the buyer? My apologies, officer, but I have no idea where she was coming from. I think it must be or where she went. Co Co Coney, Coney 2012. A needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it now. Okay. You just have to hope you luck upon her somehow. Of course. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Thank you, Roy. Kony 2012, what a throwback. Never forget, man. I watched a YouTube, like, recap documentary on it. It was very, very strange. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback. Uh, he's still, he's still out there rags. as well, Kony. Others yet. In bright blue uniform. Because I think a lot, a lot of the um, unyielding in their duty. A lot of the media, like after the fact, came out being like, "Oh, it was all a scam." But like, Try it wasn't. It wasn't really a scam. Like, cool Coney is like the one they of the most evil people in the world. Perhaps he sold a gun to a child. Never forgetting requires anyone to actually remember what happened. <laughs> yeah, that is true. It was. It was like one of the, one of those early like. I mean, the media campaign, or, or the the campaign itself sucked. That was the problem, because it was like, oh, we're going to post, we're going to put a load of posters up on the walls at midnight. It's going to be crazy. And then, like, the actual turnout for it was abysmal. It was, like, the first, the first indication that, like, people will get behind a cause on social media and tweet about it, but they won't actually, like, go outside and <laughs> be advocates for it anywhere but behind their keyboard. And then I think the uh, well, whatever the name of the charity was, uh, like went down, like kind of went under after that. Uh, what is this check? Dig up a truly cool figurine under the box uh, in the box under the table. Why? Let's What's go. What's this? A headless man riding a horse. A headless man wearing futuristic tracksuit trousers that say foul. What is this? Oh, that's the headless phone rider. No, of course. There's been a lot of interest in that particular figurine. I had to hide it so it wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. I've heard about it. I've heard the headless phone rider ride the headless bull. Yes, there are several competing versions of the story, but I believe this figurine is a more canonical representation. Sorry, what are we talking about again? The Headless Fawn Rider. It's an urban legend. About a man who rides the streets of Revachol sporting a fawn tracksuit. <laughs> As you see, he's missing his head. Fifty cents. Bargain price. I'll throw in the tiny cap too. I think he's looking for it, or something. That part of the story has many interpretations. I'm not sure what I would possibly use it for. It did, well, yeah, what, uh, why did my... My Inland Empire said use it to win her back. Yes. Buy something nice. A figurine. This sounds off. You shouldn't trust this guy. I have no idea what, what, who I'm trying to win back here. Big men on big horses, clad in lamella armor and carrying. Gonna be a while until that makes sense to me. That would mow down a line of enemy soldiers in the blink of an eye. Ah, is that? That's not the statue. Oh no, he's riding a bull. They said, because there's the statue in the middle, which is like a horse. But oh, maybe that's this knights on horseback. Franco Nigerian knight. I used to be very serious about these guys. A long, long time ago. Okay. I'm not going to buy it then. I've only got £3.12 to my name, so I don't want to waste 50p. Who are you going to trust? Inland Empire or Volition? Mm, my Inland Empire is higher? 
I don't know if that actually means it's it's better to trust that. Volition is volition is just straightforward, isn't it? Hold yourself together, but keep your morale up. So that's good to know. So if morale gets low, maybe that's one to uh, to listen to. But for the most part, Inland Empire is 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 doing well for me. Electrochemistry is fun. Half light is fun. You guys are saying Shiver is fun? Uh, but I haven't had this yet. Tune into the city. Both could be right in their own way. If you made a check, you got all you can out of that skill. Higher skill doesn't reveal more in a check. Got it. Yeah, yeah. It will just make you more likely to, to, to succeed, right? Oh, 69 mega.com. <laughs> Why well, I always I think it always it's always late into a stream that the uh, that the sex bots come out. Bot party. It's after midnight now. So this turns into the uh, streams after dark. In fairness, though. Thanks, Cam. You got to time out those bots. Uh, I think I'm going to call it there. In fairness. Not just because the bots are here, but because we've been going for a solid four hours. Uh, and I do need to sleep because I gotta go to the gym in the morning. But quality first stream, I've uh, I've, I've I've enjoyed that a lot. Uh, very interested to see where it goes. I feel like we have quite a lot. Uh, let's save. A hell of a lot to uncover. So the main one being getting to the uh, getting to the docks, the dock workers. When are you resuming? Uh, Thursday will be the next one. Thursday, and then maybe, maybe like a weekend stream if uh, if we're getting we're getting into the the meat of it. Um, because yeah, like I said, this is this is a bit of a longer game than previous ones I've been doing, so uh, it will be good to go into. Uh, or, or it will be good to like get yeah get into things so we can kind of make some tracks. Um, gonna watch the vod once you're done thank you thank you very much yeah uh it got off yeah it's all it'll be i think it's available as soon as uh, the stream ends so you got all the time in the world and we will resume same time thursday eight o'clock thursday i think is the plan um i'll let these horns play out in the background weekend would be much better i might yeah i could do i could do a saturday stream i think quite possibly here it's 1am. Yeah, maybe I'll do a Saturday daytime stream. Obviously, people have things to do at the weekend. Uh, so, g generally, weekday nights are a bit better. But, yeah, I do appreciate that. Um, you have to then accommodate for people's different time zones. Fortunately, GMT is right in the middle. Because the Brits made up time, so they thought they were the most important. But yes, let's do. We'll do Thursday and maybe a, maybe a Saturday or a Sunday stream even. Although, actually no, I'm not here Sunday, so I won't be able to do that. But yeah, maybe Saturday. But keep your eyes posted on the on the uh, community tab. I will let it known. And yeah, if you could all join, if you're free, that would be great because uh, it's always good relying on the help of chat. But yeah, thank you all for joining very much. Um, and yeah, hopefully catch you on the next one. But until then, see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your evenings or nights uh, and the rest of your weeks. And I'll see you soon.